a banner day for you, dude. Banner day. I moved. Dude, that's actually the trashiest thing I've ever heard. It's another edition of KFC Radio on the Barstool Sports Network. Your boy KFC's back. Back from uh, like 10 days off. That's right? a long time. Because it was two weekends and a week, yeah. work weekday, week, or work week. I haven't done that in a long time. Yeah, nice long tan. Time. Yeah, I got some. I got some tan going. <laughs> I also, but I also, um, my body just. I fully am team indoors. My body just rejects the outside. I don't know. I I get. I'll get tan, but at the same time, my like it. It's like kind of sunburned, you know, but it it feels like I have like. Little icicles, like pinching right now, fucking, currently not right now, because oh. I got out of the sun. But like, if I go in the sun for a day, I'll get like, I'll get, I'll get red. It'll turn to a tan. But then, like when I get in the shower, it feels like you know when you have like a, a shitty shower because you're sunburned. Yeah, Imagine yeah. that times like a hundred million. And it's also cold. It's not hot. I feel like I'm in a, a ice bath all the time. Really? And then uh, the sunblock like kind of like fucks with my skin. I'm like, I, I think I'm like allergic to the sun. I think it's like, bro, you are just indoors for life. My aunt is like that. My I, but she'll go to the beach and shit still. But she wears like I, clothes. I, I I I got one of the big fucking uh, straw hats, that, the yeah. big boys. Um, but I just started wearing like like my Moon Man pants and like a yeah like she, a light wear, like, linen, shirt. like a linen suit. Yeah, yep. yeah. It's kind of it's cool. actually kind of nice. Like when you want to swim, it sucks, but. Like otherwise, I'm like not sandy. I'm not. I hate putting on the sunblock. Yeah, <laughs> I hate the whole production. I'm just like I'm in my little shade bubble. I'm fucking good to go. But it is a nice way to go to the beach. You get so hot the other way. If you're just like under the shade, in I guess I'm nice beach just day. chilling under yeah. there. It's like I, you have an umbrella on your head. <laughs> uh, it's definitely like a I've given up, like don't care thing. You know, goofy, gigantic straw hat. But whatever, I don't give a fuck. You know. Um, but I will say, I think I'm gonna become a boat guy. Oh yeah, yeah. How so? Like, I don't know like, yet. like you're gonna have a boat? I think I want to get a boat. Really? I, I, or like, I. All I, you just, I'm allergic to the sun. I want to get a I'm boat. I'm gonna be <laughs> no, on a moving I was, island. I was <laughs> actually thinking that while I said it, uh, but because uh, I'm gonna take my boat out at night, like I'll do like the like sunset, uh, sunset cruise type boat. It was nice. It was yeah, nice. that's. I went on one and I was like. I was, it was, first of all, it was the most, like, perfect fucking uh, uh, happy hour type of cruise ever. We saw a fucking rocket ship blast off. I think SpaceX was testing something. So all of a sudden, everyone was like, that's a UFO. (laughs) And I was, like, looking at it, I was like... Holy shit! I I think it is like, <laughs> and someone googled it quick, and they were like, it it was taking off from Fort wherever we were near, but it like moved all weird and it was like a bright light, and I was like, that must have been holy a fun, like, 30 shit! Seconds to be yeah, there. it was. I was, yeah, like, like, I was like, it's happening! <laughs> ah! And then uh, you're smacking phones out of people trying to Google it. <laughs> Get out! <laughs> I want to believe. I choose to believe. And then it was one of those super moons, so it was like uh, our blood moon or whatever. It was bright orange. We watched it rise. Super dope. Um, and, but more importantly, I almost had like a existential crisis where I was just like, I was looking at the, the captain of our boat, who like we chartered this thing. It was like thirty people on it, and he was just cruising, and we're watching. You know, we're doing the wave to everybody that passes by. You know, and they're all locals, and I was like, I just can't believe that that's their life. Like they chose that life, or were born into that life, and ours is so much shittier compared to that. Yeah, <laughs> like. So shitty. I was like, this is, I, I was like my, my, I've been coughing for like six months. I went to the beach, stopped <laughs> coughing I'm out, like outside the seawater, the salt. I, I like, I, I'm like on this boat on the water. I'm like, why don't I just do this? <laughs> so I'm going to be a boat guy. Yeah. But what I need is, uh, do they do like boat share? They need like yeah. boat share. Yeah. Uh, they, I don't know if it did well. But there was – when I was in Boston, there was something at one of, like, the – I don't – I haven't heard from it much anymore, so maybe it went under. But there was a company at, like, Boston Yacht Club or whatever. Yeah, Freedom. Uh, and the, it's like uh, you can – it's like five people own it together or, like – or it's like Uber. I like forget you exactly for like how it works, but I remember, like, friends talking about, like, oh, we should go in on one or something like that. Because, like – I don't know if it's Uber. I don't, I don't know exactly how it works, but it's – I imagine uh, it has – yeah, we do all the – yes, okay. We do all the work. We buy and maintain so you don't have to. Focus on the fun of boating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cost? One-time fee of a billion dollars. And monthly dues. <laughs> that is bullshit. A one-time fee <laughs> plus re- recurring fees. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, 
Yeah, but all, I'm also talking about like that. I'm not buying a yacht. I'm not buying a fucking you know deep sea fishing boat. I'm talking about something that literally floats. You know, like yeah. I just need uh, uh, like a two man, you know, little pontoon boat. Um, it is. It is so fun. Like I, the, the part that sucks about boating is people want to come on your boat. Like the people, the great part of boating is just going and, and not that away. I'm a boater, but like when I go like up to my parents' house, like. I just go cruise by myself. I'm like, I don't want. I'm not going to tell any of you guys when I do it. Yeah, yeah. Fact, maybe I already got the boat. There is, maybe there is. Maybe like it was nice, my boat that I was on. A nice, like, I just this is kind of crazy. I'm just out here, dude. By I, I, I kind of like driving. If I'm not going somewhere specifically, and it's like, you know, I gotta get like, oh fuck, there's traffic. Or I gotta get. If I'm just cruising and I got the music on, I'm yeah, like, yeah. I, I like driving. On the water is like a hundred times better. I was genuinely like, I had a moment. I was like alone, just like. Uh, by like the front of the boat, like nobody else was there, and I was like, I, I'm gonna change everything. I'm gonna, like, <laughs> I'm gonna throw it all away. Like I'm done. I'm gonna just move down here. There was these two dudes who were probably like 18. They were like young guys on a tiny ass boat, just ripping through, kind of like a it was like an Everglades-y type of spot, you know, like little islands and shit. I think they were just fishing, and they packed. Passed back and forth a few times. Every time we waved, did the boat wave. You know, you're you're obli- like contractually obligated to wave when you're on the boat. And I think they were just like ripping beers and just like I was like, they don't know how good they have. <laughs> you know, even I went to a Cracker Barrel for the first time. Really? And uh, I've been to one once when I went on a white trash vacation with my poor yeah. friend. Hell yeah! Elementary school. Hell yeah! We went to Bush. We drove to Bush oh, Gardens. Oh, <laughs> that's the white trash. <laughs> get in the above um, ground pool and then go to Bush Gardens. I came home cook. like yelling at my parents, like, "Don't let me go on vacation with these people anymore." <laughs> <laughs> the fuck are you fucking crazy? crazy? You that was nuts? dangerous. That wasn't fun at all. Why would you let me go on vacation with them? That was crazy. You always vacation up. You don't yeah. vacation <laughs> down. Are you kidding me? That's hilarious. But I, I. uh even the Cracker Barrel, I'm reading through the menu, and it's obviously, like, so southern and, like, foods that we don't have or eat often. And I was like, I'm going to get, like, some, I'm going to get a real meal. And then, like, at the bottom it says, like, get a meal to go. And it just has, like, an option for – it's not just, like, takeout. It's, like, you buy one and you get, like, a meal to go home with. And I was like, there's probably some dudes out there, some people out there who, like, get off work or, you know, they work the night shift and in the morning they go, whatever it is. And they go to Cracker Barrel and they get their meal and they get one to go and they go home and they like chill on their porch or whatever it is. And their life is just like so simple and happy. And I was like, I, I want to be a Cracker Barrel guy. You got you got the <laughs> strongest case of vacation brain I've ever seen. Yeah, <laughs> because it, well, I don't do it. But like, yeah, but like I, I, you I, would, so, it would last. I'm surprised it didn't hit. Like, I, I, I can vacation. I actually saw him talking about a macro racing the other day, and I think Arian Foster has the exact day. I can vacation, like, four days, and then I'm like, yeah. all right, it's out of here. Yeah. I'm surprised you're still like, – No. Like, it was great. It was I, great. I actually but. did – well, I did I, – I didn't go for nine days. I was off for nine days, but yeah, I, yeah. Was, I was only away for probably four. Yeah, that's the – So, that's the but, problem. like, I – and I fully uh, – fully understand that like i'll if i were to ever do this i would buy a boat and go on it like twice you know yeah, I mean? yeah but but I, I i don't know i do i say that so actually it's funny you say that too because i'm at the cracker barrel and i'm fucking romanticizing the cracker barrel dude, and you, this light right like dude you get a cracker barrel for dinner you get an extra one to go cracker barrel for breakfast that's living the dream <laughs> yes, baby yeah, yeah. <laughs> i legit was thinking that it was it was it was it's it's more what i'm so jealous of with people are not literally that it's the mindset that that's awesome yes yeah, yeah. The, the fact that there are some people out there who are like i just need a couple beers at the end of the night and some cracker barrel and like watch a ball game listen to it on the radio <laughs> but i'm outside or on my boat or whatever and like that and that's it like they're just so happy and uh, that is what i want but within like a second no, I guess within – I shouldn't say a second. Within probably like 20 – full 20, 25 minutes, we hadn't even got – like a, our, our waiter hadn't come back to us. And I was like, I can't do this. I can't live this life. I got to get the fuck out of here. I got to get the fuck out of here. You guys are fucking children. Aren't you adults who have places to be and things to do? What's going on here? I walked into a sandwich shop. It had a huge sign. I'm talking huge fucking chalkboard. And it says, we make your sandwiches uh, on the spot, freshly like made to order. Like, uh, like we are making it as fast as we possibly can. Please, like, bear with us, comma. Most of you are on vacation anyway. 
And I was like, if that's the warning sign, yeah. <laughs> they don't they don't tell you that once they're taking too long. They know it's going to take too long, <laughs> and they point to the sign. I was at – it took an hour and a half to get my sandwiches – like to go get Burn a sandwich and come back. It was an hour and a half. And I was like, if I wasn't on vacation, if I had shit to do, it would ruin my day. <laughs> I, I, would, I would be canceling shows and meetings and shit. So like within like two seconds, my, my uh, carriage turned back into a pumpkin. But the one thing – I don't. I don't often get those feelings. First of all, I, I don't do it a lot. I remember one time saying to my brother, "I was like, I don't want to like retire. I I I I, I need like I want to make content. I like it all. I just need to like disconnect for a little while and blah 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 and this that and the other thing." And he was like, "You're describing a vacation. <laughs> you are describing taking time off of work for a little bit and then coming back. You dumb asshole." Uh, and usually when I'm doing all that stuff, I am like, when we go to California, I'm like, I don't like this. Get me back. You know, like, I don't like the time difference. I don't like the people. When I am on the water, something different happens. Yeah. Where I'm like, this I could do. I could, like, chill on the boat better than I can swim in a pool, hang out of the ocean. All those things where I'm like, okay, enough. Like, I want to – the boat I feel like I could be happy on where it's just like the sights, the sounds, the feeling, the vibe – that's the only thing I've noticed where I, I myself am like this. This feels different. I want to do this all the time. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna be boat guy. I like that. I I, I look forward to boat guy, Kevin. I, I think you could be a good boat guy. I I think <laughs> I might have a boat for you. Yeah. Yeah. My How girl. about you? You get your kai kai I was truck, say kai truck, truck boat and, uh, and I get the boat. <laughs> or maybe we get like. I feel like those those Japanese trucks are very easily turned into one of those duck boats. Yeah, just yeah, drive yeah. Into the water. <laughs> I I think there's water close enough to me on like the long island sound like i can't i can't i'm not gonna go like if i could do it all over again i would like live on a fucking beach you know what i mean yeah but i can't do that but if there's like a marina somewhere close enough it's like i can get to it but i'm not gonna go on it every day i just need a little bit of boat like once a week you go on the boat once a week go out and see a little sunset on the boat i'd be happy man that's that's I think that's, that's a right. reasonable yeah you know like if I and they're if I, not that if expensive. I told you today like, you like the I'm, goat you're yeah. describing isn't like well when people are like oh it's a money pit that's when you like if you get in like a yacht I right think. like I think if you, I just you, get you, a little fucking whatever pontoon scooter whatever those things are called they're ex they're expensive but it's not like it's like buying a car right exactly it's like, yeah. yeah it's like if I just had another car except this one brought me happiness <laughs> <laughs> and I, I I mean I've always been the the outlier like the odd man out being from city island and not having a boat not knowing having my boat license not knowing how to fish not like they're always like you're a fucking loser <laughs> uh but never too late never too late i'm almost dead but i'm gonna become a boat guy <laughs> dude so. it's it's kind of funny because you as your brother said you're describing a vacation and you're also kind of describing uh being a european and i was at dinner because of boating or because of the way they handle work? Just like, like, like a little the break. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, I was at dinner last week, and this dude who I was sitting next to at dinner, I think he was Dutch. I couldn't really tell where he was from. But he Bro, like, if you could listen to someone and pinpoint that they're Dutch, I would be wildly impressed. I'm pretty sure he was. Because he was like – he definitely speaks like seven languages. Because okay. like it was, it was going in and out of all different kinds of yeah. things. But like it was a pretty solid American English base. Okay. Um, and and he, was, he was a very gay man. And he was talking to – oh, he was at dinner with a woman. And he was, he was visiting New York or whatever. And he's like, he's like, I just want to – you know, like, I got to go back to school. But, like, I really like it here. But I don't know. I just love teaching so much. And the, the woman goes – this is the best. She goes, why don't you be a teacher in America? And he goes, be a teacher in America? I'd rather fucking die. I'd rather fucking die. What, I just get shot every day? <laughs> the way he said I, I get... I was going to say, you'd rather fucking die. You probably would <laughs> if you were a teacher in America. The way he said I just get, get shot, shot every day. But then he went into... And I, I, and I, the person I was at dinner with had gone to the bathroom, so I was just sitting there like, you know, like the, how close tables are. Yeah. I was just sitting there listening to him, and I was listening to him describe European life, and I was like... Is that, he, like he went on to he's like he's like my friend who I just saw here she works at Pepsi she makes a hundred thousand dollars a day a year and do you know what she does every day she wakes up she goes to her living room where she has three computers set up she just works from nine to five and <laughs> and and guess I want you to guess how many days she gets off a year I want you to guess and she's like I don't know I want you to guess he goes. 
14! And they both <laughs> erupt into yeah. laughter. And I was like, I was sitting Two there. Two weeks! I was like, what? boy, I'm really enjoying I'm like kind of bored on my third day off right now. <laughs> <laughs> it would be a, a true test of like, like, a month off or you know take take your time like i can't that man. was that oh, was great, wednesday bro. and i knew we had recordings or I, I did something i did dog walk thursday tune in to dog walk this week it's unbelievable mr Port- <laughs> mr Portnoy. Portnoy, yeah. <laughs> i knew i had dog walk thursday and we had a recording friday I was, like, I was like all right so this is my last night of a night off but this is of a, a week off that i'm working not working you know it's a fucking easy job but it is what it yeah, is yeah. and i was like they, they i was like everything he's saying is right but also, I kind of don't well, want it's that. It's too late for us. We're yeah. institutionalized. We are. We have been brainwashed into the culture. You got to get them young. I, he I, he was actually kind of interesting too. Where he was talking about, he went in deeper about why he he was opinionated um, <laughs> and why he doesn't want to teach a, a European gay man. You don't, <laughs> you, don't, you don't say a Dutch gay, <laughs> famously opinionated people. <laughs> um, but he was like, I don't want to teach in America because. In America, they teach you you have to be the best, and he doesn't believe that. Yeah. And I was like, that's kind of cool. <laughs> he, like, he was like, <laughs> he was like, he's like, I don't want to be. Like, well, and, but, just... By the way, like, it would be one thing if we we teach that, and then we were. Yeah. Like, well, we <laughs> were for a while. Top, top ten in like I'm talking about just education. Like I don't think yeah. we're top ten in anything. We used <laughs> to be we used to be baller, and now it's like shut the fuck up. <laughs> we're we're like the like the Yankees. Can't even American. make it out of the quarterfinals in the World Cup. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Our girls stink. Our men can't even make the tournament. We are the Yankees. And we had a really good, like an unbelievable run. And now people are like, we, we don't even, we're not even afraid of you anymore. Bro, I, that's, <laughs> that's America. Great, we don't great. even, we're not, oh, you got nuclear weapons. You're not going to use them, you fucking pussies. We're not even oh, afraid of you. <laughs> um, but yeah, I like that guy. I, 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 I was like, I wish you just kept talking. Uh, I, I, uh, I was, a, another guy I was talking to was about to go to Portugal for a month. Live in a house. He works in like tech in the tech world, so he's like, you know, they all get together and live in this villa. And I was just like, if I didn't have any kids, I could do that. But would I do it? I was thinking about that. Like, what? Like, if I can't, if I just said, I'm taking everybody to Portugal for the month. We're gonna do the, the podcast from Portugal. Are you asking if I'd go? Yeah, like, yeah. like, yeah, like you would, right? <laughs> yeah. It would be awesome. Everybody would be good. I'm like these goddamn kids. But then I'm like. But you're allowed to do stuff, even though you have kids, right? <laughs> yeah. like, I think the answer to that is no. I, well, that's kind of the thing. I'm like, fucking, bro. Uh, I, I've 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 gotten I've gone down an irreversible path with my kids now, where I'm there for them. <laughs> <laughs> fucking shoot me, man. I, I I try to go to like everything because it's just more time with my kids. Since I don't have full custody, I'm always trying to get like every extra minute. So I'll go to practices. Yeah, yeah. And now my kids like think parents come to practices oh, that's and like mistake. we need to we're gonna have to cut this out like you can't be you know it's fine when you're five you can't be like 12 years old and have your dad at practice yeah you know what i mean so somewhere along the lines we're gonna and i'm sure there will occasional come practice where they hate me sure. and they're like oh uh, yeah you're not gonna come because i fucking hate you that's why but for now it's like are you coming to my practice and i'm like yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be there for all of it. <laughs> I when you I, do that with kids my age, you're every single day. There's something. There's something every single day. Yeah, you can't. You can't. You, you can't gotta fix that. that. I feel you like yell at him one time. He's playing with a friend, and like then he won't want you there anymore. Yeah, I'm like focus on yeah, practice, yeah, and, then, and then he'll, he'll be like, me. Well, I don't but want even you there. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I have so much guilt over being a divorced parent that I'm like, I can't, I can't do this. But if I was, if if I was still married, I wonder if I'd be like. I'm going on a work trip for like two full weeks. Like we could go for a month. I'm I'm gonna be there for two. You guys can stay. Yeah, like yeah. Whatever. And it would just be like, that's what's happening. I don't know. There are plenty of people, athletes, entertainers that are going on the road and all that. I just have a warped brain, I guess. But yeah, it's like the think... only thing stopping us now, you know, we've got we got money. We've got the the like enough say so at the company to do it. It's just my goddamn kids. <laughs> or not, it's not even them. It's just my warped fucking brain. If I could just change my brain, we'll go to Portugal for a month and do the podcast. That'd be pretty dope. We go to the Azores. I got the house. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, this is still this is vacation brain talking. This is fun to dream. Yeah. <laughs> this is still this is vacation brain leaking into, like, I'm going to change my life. Like, it, and then. Doesn't that house need, like, armed security? Is that the house you're talking about? No, that was in El Salvador. Ah, gotcha. No, the house gotcha. in Portugal was so sick and it was like four hundred bucks a night. It's oh, unbelievable. Yeah, those places are like your king if you get yeah. a dollar. I just, 
I think it was I'm, weird. I think the I'm having a midlife crisis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, wait a minute, this is a thing. I just, I, it, it's kind of like a now or never thing. It's like you're about to be really old and die soon, so you might as well fucking do it. Do it now. It is summer. There is not much to be doing. Hanging out by the beach, hanging out at the bar, watching baseball, drinking beers. Go to the Barstool Sportsbook. Download the app. Download the app, then go to the Barstool Sportsbook. Place your bets. You can ride with all of our sharps here. Um, we have all kinds of all kinds of all kinds of special props, all kinds of odds, all the best odds, all the good stuff. Uh, it is very easy. It's on your phone. It always says to show you the app on your phone. I think that's very condescending to the viewer. But uh, what an app is is it's a tool on your phone that allows you to do things quicker. We have one for the Barcelona Sportsbook. You know what they look like. You know how they work. Uh, so go click on the app store. Click the icon to download this app in particular, and then place bets on it. Go to the App Store, as I said. Get the Barcelona Sportsbook. Ride with all our sharps, all the gamblers, all that stuff. You, terms apply. Must be 21 plus. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Uh, I, I always sticks in my head Jerry Ferrara, one of the first guys I interviewed. Uh, he had like just gotten skinny and in shape. Now he's been, you know, almost been in shape as long as he was known as Fat Turtle. You yeah, know? yeah. And I think he. When we when we first talked, I think I was like early thirties, and he was like, "Yeah, I'm 38. Like I reached like that was the year where I was like, if I don't do it now, we're gonna pass the point of no return. I'm not. I'm gonna be so fat and out of shape and all that. Like I won't be able to do it. And I'm like, I'm 38. <laughs> Granted, we looked a little different, but he 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 was bigger, but I'm just more of a wreck. So it's probably an even. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, if I don't do it now, I'm just gonna die. So what did I? I was reading something the other day that was like. Uh, advice from old people or something like that and this is gonna be mean but i'm gonna say it um the <laughs> one of the things was treat your body like a house you have to live in for 70 years yeah. or something like that that's what it is yeah. bro and I, treat, <laughs> and I treat my house like i treat my body which like, i don't do by the way i had two meals last night in my sleep <laughs> I love that you're calling them meals. Yeah. No, one. <laughs> like I made most it. people say, like a midnight snack. You have meals. I had, I had dessert with both. I had dessert Inquire, with both. Uh, implying multiple like sides. Like, like you have an entree and two sides. Yep. <laughs> or are they? First, I had I got uh, like soft tacos at uh, the market yesterday, uh -huh. and uh, I made. I guess one's not technically a meal, but uh, this one I got. I had two soft tacos, small size. Uh -huh. Pepperoni, cheese, turkey. Well, as, as a taco? Yeah, I just put them on. I like I like the so bread. Yeah, wrap. Yeah, yeah, wrap. Yeah. Um, and uh, I had some. I got a bag of mangoes with that one. Next and then <laughs> the next one, I got up and just got a bowl. I got a, this is disgusting. It's like a bowl of chips, um, uh, chocolate pretzels, and more mangoes. And then I also got a mango and. Tajine, ta tajine, uh, dipped lolly, uh, popsicle, and I ate that. But separate times. One was at two a.m. One was at five. <laughs> Bro, you, you, you people say this about me, but I, I guess it's because you work out so much. Like, you're lucky. Her. You're not fucking huge, dude. It's it's. I, I actually was saying the other day. I'm I'm, a, it's, I'm I'm the the dog walk draft is uh, things we don't understand, and I'm mad I didn't realize this before the draft because I would have had this as one. Because uh, on Saturday, me and Nate went out to um, fucking – we went to OAR at Jones Beach. Uh -huh. And we went out early. We got, we went to Freeport and just, like, got some dinner on the – like, food on the water. And going to Penn Station to get the LIRR, I stopped and got uh, a, a full meal. <laughs> full meal. Like, I got I got appetizers. I got two empanadas. I got – for the meal, I got, like, chiquetes, chiquetes, I think they call it. It was – Pulled chicken, two eggs, and uh, um, I don't know some like some uh, there was something potato, on top of this. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, something, potato, yeah, potato, something like that. And then for dessert, I got a half loaf of banana bread. <laughs> I get on the LIR and I go to Freeport. And I got a fucking. You got a dinner. I got a fucking clam bake for two. <laughs> I got, right. I, got, I ate. I ate two lobsters. I ate probably twenty mussels. Probably fifteen. Uh, little necks. I had uh, four deep fried shrimp and a fistful of potatoes, right? And uh, a fistful of uh, French fries. And, oh, and an ear of corn. <laughs> and oh and when they came and took that away from me, I was like, 
if they put another one down, I'd just I start eating. Eat and so I was like, I don't understand the concept of being full. I don't. Maybe you don't have that. Maybe I don't like know that what it is. Like it, you're, I, you're like the opposite of Ozempic. Like, <laughs> like you, you just, maybe you have a tapeworm. It, I, I, that might. Maybe you're pregnant. I, I just, would. I just googled like the side effects of a tapeworm, but it's actually <laughs> loss it. of appetite. It was so definitely not that one. Yeah, well, yeah, like, it's, it's not. Yeah, because it's, it's not. You have the appetite, just that you're not. And you and you're not because the other thing is like an allergy where sometimes you don't get like the nutrients because your body's just like re- rejecting it, but you don't have any reactions. No. I'm just, I just. Eat, oh, I like, know what it is. You're just despicable. <laughs> like, it's crazy. It's, like I, 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 I wasn't even like holy shit. I wasn't even remotely full. I was like, if they put it, I would eat a whole nother. Is one this right now. A- always like right now? If I just got like three pizza pies, would you just like eat them all, or is it like it's got to be like certain times? It's, it's night. It's night. Night time. time. Night or when I wake up, like I just woken up before I did that. Like, do you think that like you're? I think night the. The night is dark and full of terrors as a as like a 30, 30 plus something. I dread the night because I wake up. I get I have these nightmares now that are like, oh, I didn't even know what a nightmare was until I started having these fucking things. And then I also like wake up and I'm like I'm racked with anxiety. And I'm like, is this my real brain or is this like a weird nighttime brain that shouldn't be listened to or should this be listened to? Like I got to. And uh, it, like, just weird, weird shit about, th- and then like I'll fall back asleep. By the grace of God, if I fall back asleep, and then I wake up at regular time to wake up, I'm fine. I wake up for the day, like okay, let's go. <laughs> but if it's like I wake up at like five or anything earlier, I'm like, uh, 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 I just need to like make it to the morning. I think I'm like it's like the sun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but point being that that nighttime version of me is something like very different. So maybe it's you Mr. have I. like a yeah maybe you have a, a nighttime version of you that's like I haven't eaten all day like you need to feed. But him. I eat all day. But like not him. He's like, yeah, 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 like yeah. that other guy got those nutrients. It's almost like you're bipolar and the food only goes to one of the brains. You know? That guy didn't get anything from that. It is. It is. Crazy. I, I I randomly rewatched your slot bucket video this week. <laughs> you're I still do the slot bucket. When you were like, mm, it it's not gonna go. Oh. Well, and it's because you. Through the things, it's, it's not gonna go well for me. It's not gonna go well for me. That got reposted by Vivo because you said you didn't think you were a slob. Yeah, you know, I, it, it, oh, that's exactly that. right. Yeah, why? Why in the world would you say you're not a slob? <laughs> I don't. I, I don't think of myself as someone who's like put together by any stretch of imagination. But I don't think I'm like a slob either. And and then I'm, oh, I got I'm, news for you, buddy. On their, <laughs> <laughs> on their top, you're 16, coming out right now. I had done nine of the sixteen in twenty four hours. Yeah, like you're like, just I, had, I had just done them. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It was. Yeah. It wasn't like oh yeah, I did that. Like I had, bro. You, you like. <laughs> kind of regularly scheduled shit your pants these days <laughs> you eat like a fucking drunk bear you sleep like a homeless person like on the ground like or just like on a bear mattress you uh you eat bananas and cigarettes like you're you're yeah you as you are like a slob. when i hear it all back i'm like yeah, I <laughs> yeah. but like i in like i i don't I could easily say this is my friend John. He's a slob, <laughs> and it would be very accurate. It wouldn't be like, "Oh, you're talking shit." It would just be like, "Yeah, this is just." <laughs> it, I mean, it, it, again, uh, John, the... I think Pavs thinks you're a slob, and he's like a young twenty-something, like living with his buddies, who are all slobs. Yeah. Like I, I see Pavs go like, "Oh, jeez." <laughs> sometimes when you tell a story, something like you have, we've shot a couple of sketches at your apartment, and sometimes like that's just like a grown man child. Like, like, they're, like, <laughs> like, I have lamps. <laughs> In my apartment, yeah, he doesn't like, have lights. Or he doesn't yeah. have. I'll like ask for like. You have things. lamps, have bro. You got, I have you, a lamp. I got no lights. Lamp. <laughs> you got no lamps. I got. I got no lamps. I, got, I don't have a single. But you lamp. have. But you have like <laughs> lights that are in from the apartment, like About half out. But yeah. <laughs> but because you don't change them. Yeah. But they <laughs> theoretically, if you change them. It's just it's a well, high, it's a high saying, ceiling. I don't know how to get there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to get there. <laughs> I texted what, my this, Superman. I, like, two years ago, I texted Lambo. I was like, "Hey, light went out," and he didn't reply. Nothing. And I was like, "Well, all right." <laughs> What's it? Uh, it's on my hands now. <laughs> you do have high ceilings, but they're like, are they is it the same as this? I would guess pretty comfortable, yeah. Because like you could get on like a ladder. Oh my god, buy a ladder to change a light. No. And then what? You got a ladder in my apartment all the time but, now. Uh, 
totally with you. <laughs> you, you also totally like, use you. your your kitchen uh, table as like storage. It looks like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I have like, an no one's my house nice anymore. I have, I have an island. Yeah, it's, it's bro. I, I have I have one quarter of a kitchen table left. <laughs> <laughs> you just push it. I, uh, I don't even do it. It's when the cleaning people come and those kids just put it there. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say it's, everything's put there nicely. It's just like yeah, it's a storage that, table. If that ain't the most. Uh, <laughs> men are from Mars, women are from Venus shit. Like, they, you know, like, this is messy, but, like... Yeah, yeah. That, that is not, you know? Like, what the... Who the fuck cares where it's there or there? Yeah. But if it if it if if it's parallel and it all lines up, then it's neat. Like, fuck you. That's a mess? That's not? Yeah. Like, shut the fuck up. I hate that stuff. I think we're just more advanced. Yeah. Right? I think we're more evolved, John. You and I... Like, uh, you know, I see something on the ground. I don't know. It's just a thing that's on the floor. Who fucking cares? Right. Why does that? Why does that need to be in a drawer or in a in a in a, in a chest or a box or something? I, it's just the, it's just physical matter. <laughs> at the base of my couch, when I get home, I just lay on like the chase part of it or whatever it's called. Yeah. And I just kick my shoes off. So I have like four pairs of shoes at the base of my couch. That's where they go. <laughs> if I had put them like right here, then like you'd be lined fine. up nice, like that. Fuck it, who gives a shit? Totally. <laughs> I, 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 hate, I have a big island in my kitchen now, and that's just my stuff island. Stuff island. Yeah. <laughs> I just put, like, you know, I come home, throw my keys and my wallet on there. But I also got, like, a box from in the mail. I put that on there. I, like, you know, put a couple dishes out when I was making dinner. I left those dishes there. I, the mail is just – it's the mail table. The mail piles <laughs> yeah. up. Yeah, that, that's, just, what, that's, that's what my – Those things are for. That's what three-quarters of my kitchen table is. It's just mail, <laughs> mail. that I'm never going to open. But what – okay, what do these people do with their stuff if they don't have a stuff table? I – but, but that, or, I think the or, problem or is a it's chair like, hanger. My yeah. apartment is actually kind of becoming like a Charlie Frank situation where it's just like uh, – Becoming? When, remember, remember when they become homeless because they got so much homeless stuff <laughs> yeah. and they put it in their apartment yeah. in a room anymore? I was literally just watching that my, the other night. It's kind of like uh, – We're living like, like animals, Charlie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like I'm, I'm – Maybe we should I, throw some of this stuff out. <laughs> Why? Look at this thing. <laughs> holding steering wheels and shit. I just, I just signed my third lease for my apartment, and uh, which, by the way, um, I guess I missed – the lease email. Oh yeah, we got we got we got to catch up on your all of your economics here. You, John got an email that said like uh since you like did not renew your lease, we'd like to know when you're moving out. And it was John, just when can we get the keys? John, and I was I'm like back, <laughs> I'm not planning on moving out. Question mark. <laughs> I was like, "What?" Yeah, yeah. John got an email. This is the exact email. Uh we are reaching out to get your move out date and when will you turn in your keys? <laughs> Please advise. John, we, John, please advise we can't have expired leases in the building. I don't plan on moving out, question mark. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, didn't see a lease email. I'll sign it. <laughs> just, like, yeah, we'll just keep going. Whatever, whatever we got to do, just keep going. <laughs> it's like, what? Like, and it was, it was literally the same day. That morning, I lost all my money. And that night, you lost at like 4 p.m., I had an email being like, when the fuck are you getting out? I was like... What is happening to me right now? It was it was a that tough, a rough was a go, tough man. twenty four hours. That stretch. is a rough go. Um, I the I'm still figuring out, and by still figuring out, I mean uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, the money or the yeah, uh, yeah the money the uh, money is still up in the air. I mean, by figure it out, you mean like you're just uh, it's just gone, just gone, it's just gone. <laughs> like like it wasn't an error. It was, it was they were correct. It's. Oh, they're definitely right. Uh, um, I, was, I was hoping because there there is a weird Massachusetts thing with Barstool. Well, I, in, but, back in the day, at least, but I don't know about now. I like I'm I don't I I don't know who I even they were like I, again. This was like right before we went on vacation, and I haven't done so anything like, to follow up. Never, yeah. never mind. See you. Um, See you never. The I I definitely have to talk to someone at like Barstool people here, but they're busy. Fucking making, everyone over, making so. fucking uh, fingernail, <laughs> making, making everyone's pedicure. life incredibly difficult. Um, <laughs> they're, they're getting so. masseuses and facials yeah. and shit scheduled in here. So I don't know. I'll figure that out when I figure that out. But the apartment, I did, I did take care of. So we're good. I mean, bro, for like a split second, maybe not even, maybe for more like, how long did it take to get your apartment squared away? Uh, a couple hours. A yeah, day? like a day. For one day, you were a homeless person with no money. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, and, and now I'm not, but like I am. 
Like, like, like you, you have a house. I yeah. You're but, a shelter. I, but it's, there was a moment where you were technically a squatter with no money. You you had a shelter over your head, but like, like there. I wish. I wish. Mid thirties. I wish that you missed that email and like a week later you went to get in your building and were locked out and didn't have any money and you were like, I'm literally a homeless person on the street. I don't own a house to live in and I don't have any money. I'd be a 34-year-old with literally nothing to show for his existence. I mean, I... I <laughs> wait, when I was when I was probably 34, I and I ran out of money and I, di I, I had a month-to-month... -month, I didn't have a lease yeah, yeah, yeah. that guaranteed any sort of shelter. So like thirty four, I it's, was fucking. It's, that's, it's that's, easier than they lead you to believe. <laughs> <laughs> and I've made on these air on these very airwaves. I've made the promise I don't ever be homeless. You got, we, it got, I, it we got close. close. <laughs> got close. But like I don't. I, I wasn't. I stand by that. I'll never be homeless. I will never. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stake my claim. Right? You'll never hear about John Fidelberg being homeless. I guarantee. It. <laughs> I don't make a lot of guarantees. I guarantee that. No tornadoes. No, no and tornadoes. You'll be and I'll never be homeless. I mean, I feel like also if there was ever, for whatever reason, you were going to be homeless, you'd kill yourself before you were homeless. <laughs> like not on my watch. <laughs> I made a promise to the KFC radio listeners. I made a promise nothing about suicide. <laughs> In fact, I probably lean the other way on that one. <laughs> um, yeah, the odds on that one not great. <laughs> but uh, the I, I, that's still crazy though. That, that's a double whammy. The likes of which not many people go through. Like that, like no one's ever lost all their money in a day in their, and their home. apartment, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but I did it. I did it. I did not, it. Not your it, average person. Yeah, There's definitely been people. Well, like it's an experience not many have. Yeah, and having gone through it. It's not that bad. <laughs> uh, like, well, no. Here's here's what you got to think. If if there was a world where you didn't have anybody to help you, you'd be fucked. Yeah. You know oh yeah. I mean? Like there are, there are people who are loners in life who get you get like you lose your job, you can't pay your bills, you get evicted, and then you like fall down the stairs of the subway and like break a bone or something like that. And it's like your life's over. Right. Like you don't have any money. You don't have any. And if you don't have friends or family or anything like, like and then you just become destitute and you die. Like that shit's crazy. It's it's the greatest argument ever to just don't be an asshole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make, like, just, just make sure you don't you're not. be an asshole to people, and they help you. Out. Well, here, so so earlier on, I was saying, you know, it's this, this goddamn these goddamn kids of mine, this loving family that prevents me from from doing and going places. You know, I I've always said I'm a little bit jealous of people who have no family, <laughs> no family, no friends. They can just pick up and go. You know, like they're not like they're not tied down by anybody. They they don't care about like. They don't have a hometown. They don't. They they don't care about being around their parents. They don't have parents. Whatever it is, and I'm always like, I can't. I got. I got my my, my kids, my family, my sister, my this, my that. Uh, so I'm always like, fuck them. But then it's also like, but if I ever end up homeless and lose all my money, they'll take me in. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> they got my back. So doomsday scenario. Good to have your family. Everyday life. It's not take them or leave them. Yeah. No, no big deal. The um when we were talking about my apartment and Pavs hates it so much. Uh, <laughs> I yeah, I I had two Pavs things. Like, Fuck this place. <laughs> I, I had two things happen to me this weekend that um I I know which is crazier, but they're both pretty like they're both kind of funny. The one the lesser crazy one is when when I was going to Penn Station for that um train to, out to Long Island. Yeah. I was grabbing some candy for the train, obviously. <laughs> I forgot about As that. Does. <laughs> I ate ate lunch, got on a train with a bunch of candy, went to lunch. Never was even remotely hungry. Awful. Um, but so I'm in the candy aisle at, at Penn Station at the Dwayne Reed, and there's a dude who's just like crackhead, uh -huh. like like homeless as shit. Yeah. And he is stealing so much candy, <laughs> not even remotely discreet. Yeah. Like, yeah. like he's like, you're like shoving him under his armpits, big bags, M&M &M peanuts, right? And he's going like this. And then he's like shoving it, like tucking his shirt like that. And then, and I, I saw him, I started laughing. I was like, <laughs> and I just grabbed my candy and went back to the, went to the uh, register. Yeah. And in the line of the register, he walks by me and he's got his arms like pinned like this, but he's carrying like, almost like when you're carrying like a bunch of books and you got your chin up. Yeah. Like, Hershey's bars, that many that he's like wow. pinning, pinning him in, and he walks by me. He just goes, "Yo, thanks, man," and walks out. And I was like, "Dude, first of all, I was gonna rat you rat out." You and, yeah, yeah, but yeah. like, did you maybe like run a pick for him? No, I just I just saw just him. Just didn't rat. I just saw him and laughed. Yeah. I was like, ah, "That's crazy." And 
it felt really awesome. Yeah. Where I was like, hell yeah, bro, I got you. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to cool rat guys. you out stealing your yeah, M&Ms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, I think you, I could have ratted you, you know out. What that tells like, me? Who fucking cares? That fucking tells me that some people rat that guy out. That's so Despicable. lame, dude. Like, like uh, there was that, I hate to bring it up because it's that fucking rat fuck Rappaport, but he filmed a guy who's stealing in Dwayne Reed. And uh, the security guards and everyone like let him go, and people were like, "Why didn't the security stop him? Why didn't Rappaport stop him?" And he was like, "I'm not fucking doing that." Right? Like, I'm like he he's gonna steal like a few things from fucking Dwayne Reed, like a a, a, a a place that has like tens of thousands of locations all over. The- like, <laughs> fuck <laughs> that! Uh, I'm not even doing it for a mom and pop. I'm not even doing it for my stuff. <laughs> if you were to steal my stuff, I'd be like, "Go ahead." I'm I'm uh, friends with the Walgreen family. They're okay with it. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they'll survive. They'll no, I'm not survive. friends, but I did go to school with them. Um, oh, you, oh, really? Yeah, I went uh, to, I went to high school with the baller what? shit. Super, <laughs> they they uh the, the yeah whatever. Um, <laughs> so you will have your apartment, but you lost all your money. Yes. Okay. But the apartment this this happened to me on Saturday. I was expecting somebody. And I get a buzz at my door. I buzz, let him in. And then when I'm, when someone's coming to my apartment, I I like open the door. But then I feel rude going to sit back down. Mm-hmm. So I kind of, but I also feel weird just like standing there. Yeah, and yeah, them. super weird. So I kind of just like muddle about my. You know what you could key. do is just leave your door shut and let them knock, and then it's a normal thing. You go over and open the door. For I them. guess I watched too much Seinfeld for that. But he about. always just kind of leaves it ajar. Yeah, but then he like, like goes and makes a peanut butter sandwich. Or some that, well, that's exactly what I do. Yeah, so I go. go into the kitchen and okay. I kind of just like muddle about and like grab some food or whatever. And um, this time I opted to grab a popsicle, so the same mango and tagine popsicle which mm-hmm. I've been just mm-hmm. hammering. And I'm standing in my kitchen sucking a popsicle, and this woman just walks into my apartment. Like, walks in. Like, she's on her phone. Like, doesn't even break stride. She How walks old are you in. How talking? Young. Like, like Hot? Attractive. Mm. And and she looks up at me, and she just goes, uh, where, where's the yoga? And I was standing. I'm standing there. And I, I shit you not. I'm in that Woodstock T-shirt that's covered in holes. I'm in athletic shorts, like, like loose ones, yeah. that are inside out. <laughs> and I'm sucking a popsicle. And... And she's not even remotely taken aback by the scene. And she goes, Where's, which room's the yoga? And I was like, <laughs> what? That woman is like, that woman went home and was like, and then I walked into a retarded guy's apartment. <laughs> like this, then, then the special needs guy was sucking his lollipop, his ice pop, and didn't know where yoga was. And, and she's like, sorry, the class pass. And like, like she, like she, it's not registering to her. Yeah, this this just, isn't a yoga this is studio. Just a man's apartment. I was like, I was like, what are you looking for? And she's like, I have a class pass for. It says this address. And I looked at it. It didn't. It was like two doors down. It was like whatever the numbers. The numbers were a few few doors down. Yeah. Um, and she's like, oh, I'm sorry, and walked out. And like never for a second, and it, it was insulting to me. That like never for a second did she look scared for her life or anything yeah. like that. But <laughs> like. Ladies, going forward, if you walk into a class pass and there's a man standing there sucking a lollipop in a fucking torn T-shirt and inside-out athletic shorts, best you case know. scenario, you're getting raped. Get out of it. <laughs> like that. Like that's best case. Shit's about to go like, she down. Was, she was annoyed by my presence. Yeah. <laughs> like, like what, right hey, hey, idiot. Where's the yoga? I was like, we, what are you talking about? <laughs> uh, it was that's like, the, like re- the door had shut behind her. It was that's the reverse of you not getting up for that waitress when you're like, no, we're good. I'm good. Yeah, I'm yeah, good. yeah. I don't know. I'm fine. No, I'm fine. All set. I'm all set. Stewardess, I'm all set. Yeah. yeah, stewardess. No, I'm all good. I'm all good. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Get out of my apartment. Like, but the yoga. She... This is not the yoga. I but the yoga. I was like, I don't even know. I live by a yoga studio. What are you talking? Like, yeah, is that what I was? can't even give you directions to where to go. I, yeah, yeah, it's like it's like turn, turns out it's like two doors down, but it's on the second floor. Yeah. So I I've never walked by it. Kind of deal. Yeah. And I was like, this is, you should be more scared of me. This is insulting. <laughs> <laughs> the door is shut. You're oh, bro, locked in can, here with me right yoga, now. Bro. You should be nervous. Yeah. <laughs> For real. Look at this kitchen table. This is crazy. This is a- <laughs> There's shoes everywhere. Yeah, we're remotely worried about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good to know that you're not rapey. I guess, kind of like a little bit. I was like, you want to be a little bit rapey? Like, I, How about, I, I a, want, I want someone percentage. when they're trapped in my apartment, accidentally, to be a little nervous. Give me a percentage <laughs> that you want to be a little bit creepy like that. 
Like, like I, I would. Li I think it's a good thing that if a girl, if a girl gets lied. Through <laughs> I think yeah. it's a good thing that if a girl gets locked in a room with you, she's not scared. <laughs> dude, 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 I, I agree in theory, but, <laughs> but you want. I, I, but so you should be like, okay. oh, uh, you should at least be apologetic. <laughs> like, like, if, dude, if I walked into someone else's apartment, I'd be like, I'm so sorry. This is crazy that I'm here. Yes. I, I'm, I'll get out. I'll get out. I'll get yes, out. Yes. I, that's what I would do that to another sure person. Should happen. But that's also just out of p polite manners and and. And just feeling an asshole, it's the fear that that I'm interested in. <laughs> like, like if, if 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 I told you if a woman was locked in alone alone in a room with you, that she would be like, that would, a room is different. An apartment room, everyone should be comfortable with me in it. If you barge into my home, yeah, you should be remotely nervous about. <laughs> Like, sorry. <laughs> but, 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 okay, but nervous is, you should be sorry because you're like, she's gonna change the TV channel. <laughs> she, you're watching her, Office reruns, this fucking put them below deck. Bro, she, <laughs> she kicked her feet off the chase. Yeah. She lined them up with the rest of them. I, I think if, a, if, I think I, I want a girl to be 5% afraid of me. <laughs> I want. I mean, we don't. It, we could be a person. I don't even have to specify, girl. It, like, if if a guy walked in, there, he'd guy, start. He'd have made himself a sandwich. Yeah, that, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. That's that's how that, little yeah, I but, put any fear into anybody. Right, right. But but a girl. <laughs> you want a girl to be a little bit like. Uh, let's start saying person. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think you want a girl to go. Oh no. Well, I'll be okay. Yeah, yeah. Have that fucking. <laughs> I want everybody to when they come into my home unwelcomed to go. Whoops. All right, he's all right. Yeah. Like have yeah. that. Have that. Like when you when you jump a fence as a kid in the backyard. Uh huh. And and you kind of had that. You jumped. Like, you you know you playing in backyards and stuff yeah. like that. And uh -huh. you accidentally jump a fence and you see a dog. Yeah. That second. Oh. And then he's cool. Go, oh, he's chained up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like good, that yeah. that second. Sure. Uh, oh. No, we're fine. We're yeah. fine. <laughs> That dog's not gonna rape me. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Just, just be, be. I, I, I'd like to be a little more intimidating than I am. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what it comes down to. Is I, I just want to. Uh, we, and we, granted, we the attire and the popsicle didn't help. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably why she was like, "Oh, this guy's not." I think I think I was watching Parks and Rec too. This so guy's like, drooling. Well, yeah. It's like this is Andy Dwyer here. <laughs> <laughs> it's, but it's like we talked about on the episode with Chief on Monday. Like just. Being able to, if you can fight or you have fought or you've thrown some punches, like you you have an air about you. People look at me and go, uh, <laughs> I'll rape him. <laughs> I can this, fuck that guy, not the other way around. This guy's eating a mango popsicle <laughs> yeah. and mangoes. This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Far too much mango. I've never Far seen too much mango. Anything like this. That is insane. So where is your keeper, sir? <laughs> <laughs> All you needed was the the, the, the cleaning she, kids. She came Imagine out of the children were just running around too. What am I at the zoo? What is going on? Is this a Special Olympics? She came into my apartment and asked me who's in charge. <laughs> Excuse me, where's the manager? <laughs> ah, ah, great question. She left two years ago, honey. <laughs> Do you know how to change a light bulb? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a ladder on you, do you? <laughs> By the way, you had a lease, sir? Technically, yeah. technically, I don't even live here anymore. I don't know if they've got it in the mail yet. Two years ago. This has been a cool. rudderless ship for a little while now. <laughs> As you can tell by the amount of mangoes. <laughs> There's a direct correlation between amount of mangoes and someone in control <laughs> being present. It's just a pile of mail <laughs> dating back two years and a bunch of mangoes. Inside out athletic shorts, torn t-shirt that he got fucking jobbed on. He's like, Bet you think that's really from the 60s, don't you, you fucking idiot? 2004. <laughs> He's uh, eating a mango popsicle <laughs> and mangoes is one of the funniest things I've ever fucking heard in my life. It is so funny. Oh, uh, man. Good um, times, great oldies. All right. One more thing I got. Mm -hmm. um, I, I was inspired the other day. Uh, I just saw like a tweet about, I forget what, to be honest. But I started thinking about the, ele the election. 
Oh, okay. Right? Uh-huh. Uh, presidential election coming up, I think. I don't know. It's basically all we talk about. Uh, Bro, the, you know what they do? It's the same thing with, like, Christmas starting in, like, October. They start election talks. Like, so two years early. Well, I, I genuinely don't know what, what is 2024. So, yeah, about a year. But, um, y- but, but it's no, been going on but for... but we got to go, you know, November of 24. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so like, we got to go like, over a year. Right. And it's already been a year. And, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, as soon as... Was Biden, like, even in office before we started talking about the election? It's crazy. I think after he fell off the bike, they started talking. <laughs> Start the clock. But um, I was thinking, if you could only... And I pose this question to everybody. If you could only ask a president... You can't hear anything else. Okay. But you can ask a presidential candidate three questions. Ooh. You and you have to vote on those issues. Not not issues. They give me they give me whatever questions you want. And I've thought about this. Okay, proceed. Number one. Uh huh. What religion are you? <laughs> it matters. <laughs> <laughs> it, it mattered with JFK. They were real nervous about electing a Catholic. Yeah, it can matter. I gotta know what religion you are. Yeah. <laughs> like, 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 wait, what if, what if, like, I, I'm not even gonna go with the regular ones, the racist ones. Like, when you find out a guy's like an Anglican, <laughs> like, Episcopalian dude, dude, get out of here. You don't even believe in transubstantiation. Like, okay, <laughs> you, you you pray to lady priests. Like, <laughs> You can't possibly respect Come you, on, dude. dude. Your priests are women. You get married. You, you've been to church and the priest has been pregnant? That's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can't run the country. <laughs> um, two was um, what your level of athletic achievement is. And and I don't I don't like care. how high you reach. Yeah, like, but like I need to I know varsity that varsity basketball. You were at least in, and I don't even care that you were if you were good on the team or not. But I need to know you were on in the, the locker room yeah. with a team that had a goal. Right. That you like. Right. Like you were, you could you could deal with that locker room. Yeah. That yeah. that's sure. I think that's, it. That's what being the president is. Right. Like you got like like yeah. it's you, know, you didn't just like fumble around in right field. You you had a group of people with a goal. Yeah. And and you, you you fucked around in there. You had a good time in there. You've been on a journey with these people. Right. You basically had a president that you listened to. Yeah. And now you're trying to be a president with your coach. You know. Like, I think uh, that's a pretty good totally, one. Totally. I mean, I I think I almost like exclusively get along with people who played sports as a kid. Yeah. Like if I if I know like I'm trying to think of. I probably like, know some artsy people who lean towards like music and dance and art, and they're like cool, but they're not like my friends. Right. You know. Yeah, like, yeah, they're like, they're almost like vacation friends. Yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, I'll get along with you, but like, we're not gonna. It's not gonna last. I don't, I don't want to merge our lives no. like that. No, 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 no. Yeah, I like that. And then the last one is, um, uh, do, do you believe in a woman's right to choose? That one's for the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was gonna say when you, when you were bringing up the sports, I was like, are we are we just including women's sports in this, or are we just precluding the ladies from even being present? No, you no, you can, you be, can, you can be, yeah, yeah, you can, you can play you can whatever. Chick, sports okay. are sports, baby. You you've been on a team with a goal, and because I, I mean, you ups I, you know, my first question is, are you a girl? <laughs> <laughs> Once, no, I mean, my my first question is, are you a girl? My second question is, did you like Barbie? My third question is, are you sure you like Barbie? <laughs> and then I make my decision based on based on that. <laughs> um, all right, one minute man topics. We'll dive into some uh, some of the old stuff we missed while I was gone, but some of the new stuff right now. Number one thing on the internet. Number one thing on social media. The uh, Alabama boat fight is all time internet stuff. Uh, it's a little dicey because it's basically a race war. Yeah. So I'm going to tread lightly here because I don't want to be uh, an ignorant white and I don't want to be a white guilt guy either. But uh, it is it is a several minute multiple angle video. You can find like four or five different TikToks and they all matter, by the way. You got to watch all of them where a bunch of black people square up against a bunch of white people in what is being I mean, like. This is this is for Black Twitter. This is like the greatest thing that's ever happened. <laughs> they are like this is like unifying all of them. Um, but that guy, the guy who jumps off the boat and swims to save his brother, who is like it, it's it's like one on four at that point. Oh, they put the, the Avengers. Like, I, I would say this. Yeah. I was gonna say this is the greatest. This is the greatest 
thing since Avengers Assemble. Because at one point, the, the, the initial guy, he takes his hat off and he fucking throws yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And then he's kind of outnumbered. And he gets roughed up a little bit. That guy in the white white shirt, black shorts. Yeah. He's getting touched up by like a bunch of white dudes. And then the the one guy swims to his to help him. And a couple guys come down the ramp. And then they start marching after them where it's like, now I got numbers. Now I got backup. And it honestly is a real life Avengers Assemble moment. It is like, oh, now you fucked up. Now it's on. And the person doing commentary is just as good. It is. Uh, I haven't seen this then. I saw one clip. I, I knew of this big fight, but I didn't realize it had levels like this. Oh. I saw the guy with the chair. The chair, yeah. Yeah, I saw that, that angle, head. and that's yes. all I'd seen. So, I, I so somebody tagged us. Maybe this is where you saw it because he tagged a bunch of Barstool guys and said, like, need this on the rundown. This is, like, the fight of the millennium. And I saw that angle. And the chair is pretty crazy because yeah. he goes WWF on a woman's head <laughs> <Wax it. laughs> while she's already down. Um but then people kept telling me the guy swimming, the guy swimming. And I was like, I didn't see a guy swimming. Yeah, I've heard about fight. the swimmer. This is my first time seeing it. So, this, yeah, this is like, I think like a fight happened on one of those riverboat. That, when, they, when they start marching after him, right, like they've got numbers now. And they go onto their boat to start fighting him. The other, like whoever pieced this all together, is, it's Spielberg, bro. It's, it's unreal. <laughs> uh, and, and I saw a bunch of people being like, try that in a small town. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Uh, uh, most of it's pretty sloppy with these punches. I, I don't want to ruin it, but I feel like the people in blue shirts are like security. Yeah. And that's the guy swimming. So he might have been like on the job, like, oh, I got to get over there. Rather than like, I it need to go help. Employees like, of some kind. They're all oh, wearing blue shirts, yeah. right? So it would be better if it was just like a dude on the boat was like, yeah. I got to go help that guy because he's <laughs> like he's outnumbered by a bunch of white people, so I got to go save him. But regardless, I mean, it is just an all time brawl mixed in with the swimming. That's fun. And this the is funny. Commentary. Oh, it's on now! It's on now! <laughs> it's before great. Before I even saw like all these cl- clips where like it clearly oh. is like black people versus white people, I just saw like the one little thing. And just judging by the boat and judging by the T-shirt the guy had on, it wasn't quite a Confederate flag, but it was some kind of flag. Yeah. And I was like, oh, people were saying the N-word. That's <laughs> yeah, like, oh, like, I think I know who side I'm on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's, there's not really I think what ended, I think what actually happened uh, was, like, the the guy on, like, the tour boat or whatever that is was, like, saying, like, yeah, this uh, that guy in the gray shirt. I don't know what kind of flag that is, but that's, yeah, like, it looks It looks bad, though. Yeah, yeah you're yeah. saying. Yep. You're yep. saying. It's a state. I think that's Mississippi. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, might as well be the Confederate state flag. Mississippi state flag is the Confederate yeah. flag. And you know it's some white trash because the girls are all getting involved in the fight. It, it's just an all-around trash fight that is uh, truly epic stuff. And the most embarrassed I've been as a former Barstool blogger that – uh, this was not blogged about until like m- Monday afternoon. Like it, it, I, I saw it tweeted this morning, and was like, "That can't be." Like it's just someone getting up just now. getting blogging it. I mean that this would have been, and you know, I guess it's on us too, to, because we don't do do it anymore. But I mean, this would have been drop everything, kick your mom out of the car while it's moving to get back home to blog it first. It you is. You know what I mean? Like I gotta be the first one to post this. And not only does it not that, it's nobody posted at all. It's it's quite disappointing. That, it that, it that, is. That is. Oh, there's the like chair. To I mean, add that no one saw this and was like. This would have been one of those ones where you break down every. Yes. Yeah, I, I would have done screenshots with letters. I'd be like, you know, exhibit A. Yeah, this, yeah. Like these two are fighting. Is it tail of the tape for everyone involved in the fight? It would have been a 10,000 word blog. It, it would have it been is a some you know, real, masterpiece. Like, oh, and back like, in my day shit. But like. But true. If, if your main job at Barstool is a blogger. And, and, and you didn't you do didn't this. this it's, you know what? It's it's really. It's like anything else. It's like sports and everything. It's a matter of desire. Yeah. Like you. It, it's not like. Like, you don't do this shit because, like, if I blog this, I'm going to – it's like I'm not going to make more money if I blog this. So, yeah, yeah, I know. You just, but you should want to do it. <laughs> like, it was, it's really just about wanting to put out the best content. Um, Game Time is the exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports. That means everybody at Barstool, every time we go anywhere, whether it's to go see the lowly Mets and Yankees or to go see Taylor Swift in concert or to go see football when it's back, basketball, hockey, live music, any live entertainment, anybody at Barstool, we're all going through Game Time. You should too. And don't take it from me. Don't do it just because I'm doing it. Do it because it's the best up to the minute, up to the second technology so that you get the best prices available on the second 
secondary market. Not only just the best prices, also the best tickets. Tickets that you thought you never could get because you're not a premium member of the club who gets early access to the tickets and they, all the all the front row seats are gone, all the floor seats are gone. Well, now you can get those tickets available through game time from people selling them secondary and you know you're going to give it the best price possible because that's what game time does. Uh, the big last minute price drops, you can find them on game time. The seats that you thought you could never buy, you can find them on game time. Plus, the purchase process is two taps. It takes 10 seconds, and then once you buy your tickets, you can send them uh, to anybody through your phone so you don't have to print them. You don't need a special app. You can just text the ticket, send it directly to the person, and they get in the game. Skip the hassle. Enjoy the moment. Download the game time app or go to the website, enter your email, and then use code KFC for $20 off your first purchase. So that's the game time app or go to GameTime.com, just enter your email, use code KFC, get 20 bucks, bucks off your first purchase, terms and conditions apply. The Mets just posted this video, I didn't see it because I am just out on the Mets for the next 18 months while we wait. Uh, Keith Hernandez did not know what PB&J meant. That is awesome. How? I, I, I don't know. This is one it's of those a things. mystery. Like, I long to be the guy... Who's like, what is that? Like, like he's so, he was so good at baseball, so focused on baseball, so rich, so handsome, so focused on broadcasting, whatever it is. Or if you're, if you're so rich, you're so out of touch. I, I want to be out of touch to the point that it's like, I don't know what a PB and J is. That's incredible. That's that, I mean, that, that. I actually don't want that because PB and J is fucking amazing. But I want something like that where it's just like. Had he never had the sandwich? I don't know. Let me, let me listen to the clip. Did you see this live? I, I mean, I haven't. I literally have not watched the game in like a week. But I mean, I was watching it in 2020. I don't, I don't remember that that yeah. moment. Um, that I mean, was COVID year, right? Maybe yeah. that was it. Okay, yeah. yeah. I mean, not knowing what a PB and J is, is. Did you see when uh, when uh, Mayweather didn't know what? Um, uh, what like seating assignments were on a plane? No. The guy, the guy was like, so I'm sitting in like two B, and or like you know, I think I think he said a, a maybe like the first row or whatever. Yeah. It implied that like he, I didn't have leg room or I was sitting here in exit or whatever. So he's like, so I'm sitting in two B, and I and the stewardess is like blah blah blah, and Floyd's like two B, like what is that? And he's like, uh, it was my seat. And he's like, what are you talking about? And it was something so basic like that about like flying on planes. And then they, they were like, how do you travel? And he's like, I, I just call my pilot. <laughs> and he was like, watch this. He's like, he was like, yo, Steve, uh, like gas up. We're going to pick uh, – he was talking about the guy. He's like, we need to drop him off in like Utah on the way to Vegas, okay? And he's like, yep, sounds good, bet. Like <laughs> – like, that's what I do. Like, it's insane. <laughs> to not know, like, basic things like that is I long to be that ignorant. That is. Because it's not stupid. It's it's like I'm just uh, uh, on yeah, yeah, level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, mean? I, I just it's, don't it's know what you're talking about. Because, again, to, for the third time now, this podcast reference the dog walker, which we did things we don't understand. And it is funny because, like, I, I made a joke during the show where I was like, to people who are smart, this episode is just one Mean Girls clip. Yeah. Where like, yeah, they yeah, don't yeah. know things. Right, what are you talking right, about? Right, right. But it's like it's. I don't know. I get. We just lived a different life. I just. Yeah, I know. Something I don't that know you what don't you know. know. And I, yeah, 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 I, yeah, I have. There's probably stuff that you would say that I'd be like, "Oh, are you a fucking idiot?" And, right, and vice versa. Yeah, it's like it's the perfect example of Jeopardy when you watch Jeopardy and there's a sports category, and they get them all wrong, wildly like, these wrong. These people are stupid. <laughs> What? <laughs> right, because they didn't know who like won the gold medal or some yeah. shit. And meanwhile, they can answer like you know questions about quantum physics, and it's like speaking yeah, of dumb. that. I I did something today. I think it's pretty rare. I don't know if I've even seen anyone else do it. Went a clean over on the dozen. Oh, oh, you didn't get I, one? I didn't get one. I went two for, and I didn't want to tweet it. I was so glad you <laughs> tweeted yours. I, I, uh, I the counting crows one killed me. I, I, it's like, the, they were all ones where I was like, just yeah, a little bit. Like, I knew, yeah, I could have sung the song, but I couldn't yeah. fucking think That's of it. That's why I was doing the Actually, same I thing. couldn't stop singing. I was accidentally in love, got stuck in my head. Yeah. Wait, is that the one that it is? Uh, no, so it was something else got stuck in my head. I think accidentally in love was the answer. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I've, I've been on the path to Ofer and I just stopped. <laughs> I'm not, not going to do it. So I technically didn't, didn't go. Um, so, okay, wait, back to One Minute Man. Um, these were things over the last weekend or week um beyonce traveling with her own toilet seats dope so dope but yeah. also 
pretty attainable. Like she's not traveling with a toilet. She's yeah, yeah, yeah. A toilet seat. And I think she has someone just screw it on and off. I think like you know, you could do that. Like that's not like a you know it's just she's a, a it's billionaire. A, it's yeah, like, bro, I carry she, a tote bag. Toilet put seat, a toilet in there. Fits in there. Yeah. <laughs> easy, easy. Now it's a new. I don't have a screwdriver. It, it, it's a new. Call <laughs> <laughs> back. I, I, uh, I think it's a new toilet seat everywhere she goes. But even that's attainable. Let's say you have a uh, a tour with like 150 dates. She can get 150 toilet seats, and uh, so so could a lot of people. Yeah. And then you just have to have a guy who's there to 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 do the work for you. Um, and but, that that's the hard part because changing the toilet seat. Is actually more disgusting than just sitting on it. Yeah, because you got to like get, yeah, all get in there. there. Especially People like are pissed the, all over you're, it. You're, you're probably turning the screw and it's like like, like calcified piss yeah. is like breaking. Yeah. So chaining the seat is disgusting. So you, but that so then it, now it becomes not very attainable because I'd rather just sit on toilet seat and change it. Totally. So now you got to pay. You have a, you have a handyman to just follow. That's a, that's a full salary. Now we're not. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm Beyonce's toilet guy. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, I make her a toilet everywhere uh, she goes. And, and I mean much. he does well. Oh, he, he's probably the more well paid than all of us. Yeah, hundred you know? percent. That's that that that's like there's some plumber from you know Texas wherever she's from who's like he got the nod and he yeah. went from being a janitor for the high, local high school to being Beyonce's toilet guy <laughs> and his life is easy street. He gets, now, he gets weird looks every time he says what he does. Like, I'm uh, Beyonce's Beyonce toilet. toilet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would probably let Beyonce. I would probably be her actual <laughs> toilet for what she would pay me. Uh it's one of those things, though, that's like – it's almost like like Costanza with, like, the Snickers. Like, how do you eat that with your fingers? It, like, all of you people have just been plopping down on used seats. Like, you broke disgusting animals. Like, even other famous people. You yeah, know? yeah. It's like, oh, oh, uh, you know, you think, you think you're hot shit, Taylor Swift? You – you went used a, a public bathroom the other day. <laughs> like you didn't even uh, – that, that might be maybe more common than we realize. But when you think about it, once you get really rich – you think about what what can I like eliminate? What can, what, what what these the the main thing that's great about about being rich is you have no more problems. You don't worry about rent. You don't worry about bills. And then like how far does that list go? And it's like I don't worry about piss soaked toilets. And and uh, but you know and, can I say something? What? Neither do I. Well, you don't. That's because we're in slops. Yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It it used to Bro, be something I thought about when people talk to me. When people say that they hover. Like you're gonna just do a squat and hold it like you're a fucking sumo wrestler. I plop my ass down on that shit. I hope it's warm. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh. disgusting! Uh, this is quite delightful. That, that shit is like, oh. I mean, I mean, I will say this. I got cameras set up in the, the bathroom when Frank gets out. <laughs> <laughs> I like to kill things. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, if I, I don't like a cold seat. That sucks. So if I knew that it was like your butt, yeah, I'd be like, he warmed it up for me. <laughs> I don't know about that. That whatever slop comes out the other side, who knows? But, but mostly mango. If it's, <laughs> if it's a stranger's heat, I don't know if I want that. But if it's like a family member's heat, I'm like, ah, okay, whatever. Have you, you know, guys ever sat? Me. They have like heated toilet seats. Um, I don't think I've ever had one. I know it's, they exist. Obviously. My my grandma had one when I was growing up, and it does just feel like somebody was just sitting there, just it's on it. Yeah, really uncomfortable. But that that I'm I'm even okay with like a fucking truck driver was there before me. It's any if there's any if you ever sit down and there's pee, it's like yeah. or wet in general, could be a splash back, whatever. That is just a terrible, terrible feeling. I'd rather have a a, a hot toilet seat than pee in the toilet. When I get oh, there. oh, oh, not even in the seat, just yellow, like yeah. the water. Yeah, 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 yeah. Turns me off. Yeah. I got to be horny to shit. <laughs> <laughs> you are on one, dude. You are fucking on one. Pat, Pat's got a head shake out of that yeah. one. <laughs> He's like, this man said he wasn't a slob not an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> got to be horny to shit. Yeah, it's a different no, kind you're, of horny. I mean, that, you're just saying It's that. a different kind of horny. Obviously. It's not like horny horny, yeah, yeah, but you gotta be horny to I got to be in the mood. You got to be shit horny to shit. Yeah, yeah I get in yeah, there, yeah. fucking bowl of piss turns me off. That is not the craziest thing. Yeah, no, I didn't mean yeah. horny. I didn't mean I'm yeah. hard. I just meant like I got I got a yeah. shit horny. You got to be in the right frame of mind, yeah. especially if it's public. So my question is, what would you, what's something that you would do along these lines? Oh, boy. 
because this is not necessarily money, but it is just something like if you could just fix a problem that is that bothers you a lot. Because it is funny to think that like Beyonce was like, I'm not gonna sit on piss ever again. I'm rich. <laughs> That'll never happen to me ever again. I'm, I'll just take the soil, toilet seat off if I have to. Jay Z's up at three a.m. being like, uh, are you "Wrong about that." <laughs> I turn the fucking light on and waking up. <laughs> <laughs> you wrong, man. Yeah. You wrong. Um, like, what's the, what's the worst thing that bothers you in your everyday life that you wish you'd get rid of? You know, man, nothing really bothers me until it bothers me. If that makes sense. Like sitting here right now, I am a problem-free man. In reality, I'm a poor man who's almost homeless. <laughs> <laughs> but like, it's it's really a question of the word bother. Yeah, because it's like I do have when, problems, when something's bother bothering me, me it's, it's it consumes you. It's the worst thing in the world. Right. Right. Um. Right now, boy, it's hard. You know what? I can't get out of my head right now. I don't have enough hangers. <laughs> hangers. So if, if you I could fix the hanger issue, if I could, if I could have someone who buys me more hangers, I'd be give me cake. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. How about that? Yeah, like, like, like. Why don't all closets? Which, by the way, I could probably have like hangers, hangers at home by the time I got home. What? I, say, I yeah. could probably have hangers at my apartment by the time I got. Cost about three ninety five. That's, but that's that's the point of this is like Beyonce. You could you could afford toilet seats, and so she just does it. You could get you could get hangers. I could get. But you won't. No. Goodness, no. <laughs> Bro, but the bottom of my closet is just shirts I don't think I wear anymore that I've taken off a hanger and thrown on the floor and put a new shirt on. <laughs> yeah, naturally. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I probably won't be wearing this much anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Yoga's why, down why the hall. Can't, why can't hangers just be <laughs> built into, like, the, the bar? And then you just kind of, like, put your shirt around it. That'd be better, right? I can see that making sense. Yeah. Yeah. You can't you can't like take it off and travel with it, but I just want I'll have I'll have my travel hangers and my at home hangers. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't. I'm every, not really a travel hanger guy. I don't travel yeah, hangers that often. Yeah. Um, and then I just have you know like twenty uh, per, built in permanent hangers. Di- uh, disintegration proof underwear. <laughs> First of all, this motherfucker said disintegration. <laughs> Second of all, <laughs> you're disgusting, dude. How bad are they? Right now, I don't think I have many holes in these. But many holes, <laughs> yeah, many. Dude. Dude. And, and and also multiple pairs. Like, Bro, every pair. What do you do when your underwear that there are holes in them? Every that's this is fucking. Come on, I'm not the weird one here. No, you, how often do you buy new underwear? Never. Clearly not often. Never. <laughs> Literally never. Years. Every Christmas, my mom puts a pair in my stockings. <laughs> a pair. Bro, I mean, I have, I would probably venture to guess I have 60 pairs of boxers. Yeah. Boxer briefs. Uh, yeah, I'm not that. I, I think I've bought. I've got, a, I've got a starting rotation, and I've got, like, a backup team. Yeah. And then there's some, like, with the holes in it that are, like, on, like if things are going but, really like, bad. But, like, if I have a hole, it's gone. Yeah. In that case... I'm a bottom of the barrel franchise. <laughs> <laughs> we probably need new ownership. <laughs> the 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 fans in the stadium they carry a lot of sell the team signs. <laughs> Dude, last night I was getting into bed or getting in the shower before bed, and I went to pull my boxers down or my briefs down, and and I just put my finger through it. Like 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 through the fabric. Like, like, like I went and just grabbed it here, and my thumb just went through. <laughs> it's like it's made of like paper mache. I or still something. have them. I'll bring them in tomorrow. They're how old could they be? I'll tell you what. They're from a podcast ad, so <laughs> seven years max. <laughs> I would hope, <laughs> bro. You have you have underwear that's seven years old still. I get one new pair a year. <laughs> No, come on, stop it! How old is this? Is the bit? This is a bit. This isn't that. You have much not of a bought bit. underwear. Probably the last pair of underwear I myself purchased was that pair of small underwear. Are I, you just constantly doing laundry? I do laundry every day. That's the worst thing I've ever heard. You I do did, laundry every day. I do probably a load a day. Maybe not quite. Maybe every other day, day yeah, and a half. Yeah, because you got it. You only have seven pairs of underwear. The No, I have That's a lot. That's why I have. I have 60 pairs of underwear so I don't have to do laundry. But it, it's like. 
I have a thousand. I, I wear like three outfits months. a day, so I go through a lot of clothes. So I. What are you fucking Beyonce? <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you they're, talking they're not, about? They're you not like, outfits, but I gym clothes. I, I go to the gym. Like, I wear my clothes, and I wear clothes I kind of far around the house in. Then I, I change those when I wake up. So like, that's I, I probably wear three pairs of underwear a day. And you only have like seven. <laughs> <laughs> your your life is just one constant load of laundry, and like your boxers are just getting worn to shit. Yeah, because that's why I don't have any any underwear with with holes in it. I don't. I don't think these the only thing that might happen is if I rip the tag, and then you get a hole in the. Uh... Just take your pants off. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was that was me all fucking week at the beach. Nah, you're good. Okay. You're good. So you're good. it's this exact brand. <laughs> that has the holes in it. Dude, that is uh, if I if I have a pair with a hole, they gone. And I feel like I don't even like they're gone before that. Probably because I'm also getting fat, and I and I wear boxers that fit me, unlike you, where you just somehow. Santa Claus that shit and just <laughs> just <laughs> skip into a pair of boxers that don't fit you even remotely at all. Um, I I I don't I don't understand you. That might be the weirdest thing. To, like if you, uh, that's if you that's got, not that abnormal. To do, be. To, doing laundry every day is abnormal. Oh, oh, oh I think about the whole ab- uh, uh, It's in my apartment though. Not, I'm not going. Not out. having. Like, just, Basically, it's like, like I just like when I get out of the shower at night, I just throw a load, load like, in. Like the, and, my, my, the answer to my question about the Beyonce thing is actually th- what I've done with underwear. I just bought a thousand pairs. Socks and underwear, I can probably go for like two months before I ever need to do laundry. I could probably go if like, if I started wearing one pair a day, I could go close to a month probably. Three but I wear like pairs, two pairs a day. day is crazy. Sometimes I don't wear them to the gym, so sometimes it's just two days. Like some, I got those shorts with like the thing built in. Yeah. Um, and then you, then you should free ball it when you get home. Then you cut but out two most pairs. of my shorts do have that thing built in. And then and, you wear underwear? And no, but then those aren't comfy to lounge around the house. Because yeah, so I like tight. I usually wear underwear and then so- and then shorts without. You just wear the so- shorts without the with without. The I only cut. have one pair of those. The girl saw that they were inside out for a reason on this weekend. <laughs> They're like Eastern Connecticut rugby. I don't know where I got them. <laughs> <laughs> now that that I mean there there's another um, brand. Of underwear that sells the 365 pack for like ten thousand dollars. Oh yeah, and yeah, it's like yeah. You just have new underwear for every single. I don't think anyone's like ever bought it, but uh, that that to me is kind of like the the story of like Mariah Carey's only wears like everything only once. Yeah, like they're that urban legend. I want to just do that with underwear, and make it a reality. Just pairs gone. But I mean, you also know I have this fight all the time with just myself in the universe just screaming at the clouds about how boxers just don't fit right anymore and they're yeah. all made of the fucking Under Armour material and, like, all that. So when I find a pair, a set that I do like, what sucks for me is the cheap homeless people shit fits way better than the fancy stuff for me. But those fucking morons put their dumb broke boy brands all over it. <laughs> you know, if I, if I was like... You're looking Hanes, for quiet luxury in the... Like, in the I would, just, uh, I would just put like an H, you know? That's it. I wouldn't be like, Hanes. Because I don't want to be... Hanes is a respectable brand. No, it's not. I mean, I it know. is, but it's not like, you know... Listen, girls are not like getting wet over fucking Hanes boxers. It's better than a bunch of holes, brother. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. No. How about this? Do you think girls would rather... Uh, you roll in. Yeah, those are the ones. But we've talked about this. They shift. They changed it. Mm-hmm. They changed it from, from... It's actually not the one. The one is where the Calvin Klein is written in the same... It's it's black. Yeah, it's yeah, black yeah. on black. Yeah. That's the one. When they switch to the white and black, they also switch to like yeah, see, that dumb stretch. shit. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to cotton. stretch. Just cotton. Uh, would, would you think girls would rather walk in uh, like, or pull on your pants and see old tattered up boxer briefs? Or new, fresh tidy whities Fresh tidy whities But you don't see my shit, dude. I get undressed like Bruce Almighty. <laughs> it's I gone. Think, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you think you think uh, you think so though? The tidy whities And I'm not talking like it's not like he's wearing like European cut like like Tommy John like hot. It's like we're talking like almost where it's like. You know, a diaper. It looks like I think, it's, and it's I, got the weird like the 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 the. the, the 
seam on it in the middle for your dick and all that, you know? I think if you can wear them, you can rock them. You got to have a fucking hammer and you got to be like in good shape. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then it doesn't matter at all what you're wearing. Kramer, Kramer wears a hell out of them. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what we're shooting for? Yeah. Kramer? Yeah, I want to look like Kramer. I just want to reach that Kramer yeah. level. Um. Okay, anyway, next topic. Okay, next up, this is from last week. I did one minute on it back in the day, but we haven't done it on the show. Uh, Lizzo is in hot water for fat shaming her employees and also forcing them to do uncomfortable acts at a bar in Amsterdam. As soon as I heard that, I was like, I think I know where this is going. And then the description of they, um, like, like, projectiles come out of... Uh, like a body part, and then people eat bananas. I was like, I know where this is. I've been there. <laughs> I've been there. And you know what? This I side I side with Lizzo on all things here. Because, first of all, I get the irony of it, but Lizzo's allowed to be fat. That's her <laughs> shtick. Her thing is I'm the fat girl who is actually e- exceedingly light on her feet. Have you ever seen her play the flute and, like, dance? No. This bitch can move. Like she, she is gliding. She's like bouncing on her tiptoes, like you would think that she's like a little ballerina, and she's just a big girl. Really? But she's fluting she's more limber than I, and, and bouncing. Sense. Oh, big time! <laughs> like, like Lizzo could probably dust me in a fucking race. <laughs> Watch this. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know if this is the uh, exact I one. Can, I can handle that. Yeah, that 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 that's a little different. There was one where she was in like a she was doing like an Irish jig. She was in like see if you can do like Lizzo Lizzo Irish jig. See if that pops up because she was doing that like Irish step where like your legs pop up and down. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, God damn, I didn't think she had it like that. But um, regardless, when your thing is you know, let's call it like she's known for being the big girl. She's a great singer, has a great voice, could puts out good music. But a lot of her her character is her how big she is. So like backup dancer. Not you. Yeah. Me. Yeah. Lizzo so, actually, it's it's hard. She works hard to maintain that figure. It's like, it's and, like an alignment. It's like, you know how many calories this takes? Totally. Every day? This totally. Isn't, this, this is, is a com- grind. This isn't comfortable for this me. This is a fucking grind. Yeah. And I'm not going to look like me if you all look like me too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't have big girls next to me. It's like, come on. All these girls all. Wait a minute. All of her dancers do look bigger. So I don't even know what's going on in that. Anyway, that story's like, whatever. Fat shaming is so 2015. Who cares? Uh,. <laughs> Forcing your employees to do sex acts, that's the one where you go, whoa, wait a minute. And then you read the story, and maybe it's because we've experienced it, but, like, you shouldn't force employees to do sex acts. Dude, when there's someone I mean, A little in front peer of pressure you, to eat a banana out of someone's pussy is not a sex act. Come that, on. That's, it's not Come even on. peer pressure. It's like, someone's got a banana in their vagina in front of you. There's only one thing to do. Yeah. You're going to eat it. That's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that, and, and, and particularly when you're in that environment... There's not we're not victim blaming here. I'm just saying, you put a banana and pussy in front of me in Amsterdam. I'm eating it. I'm eating it. <laughs> I'm eating it. No one's pressuring me to do nothing. But also, you know why? Like, cause I did walk- you eat it, Nick? Who ate it? Everybody. Yeah, everybody we all did. did. Yeah, everybody took a bite. I, I started. Oh yeah, I because for- because we all took a bite. I think of the same one, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. Because yeah. by the end of it, someone had to get to the very end, and they were like <laughs> yeah. in there. Got a wet nose like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, was actually got, thinking that. Yeah. Like, that's exactly where your nose would hit. Yeah, I, I, that's right. I, I thought this was one of those like individualized ones. No, no, no yeah. there was the dude that was just there by that himself. Guy, yeah. That guy just was having a banana split by himself. Fork that was knife. Crazy. Yeah, he was cutting it up. Um, he was slicing that shit. Like, but I also like because. You know why? You walked through the door of the banana bar in Amsterdam. Yeah. You know, like, if this was, like, uh, at a regular place or, like, Lizzo's house, and all of a sudden she's like, bam, eat this banana. (laughs) That's some weird shit. You you know, you're in a fucking, someone invites you to their hotel room and they're doing banana tricks. Like, weird. You're out in the red light district at a bar called the Banana Bar. We heard tale of it before we went in. They obviously did. And it's not a place where you get to just be like, I'm just here for, you know, it's like, no, no, yeah. They'll be we're all going to eat because then it's, we, it, it's like a social contract. Yeah. Now we've all done this disgusting, perverted thing <laughs> and there's mutually assured destruction and we all could be like, it's like the hangover. Like we're going to look at these one time and never talk about it again. Like, <laughs> we all ate that fucking banana and that's it. You can't be, you know, you can't be like, let's go out on the town, go to the banana bar and then be like, no, I don't think so. Don't even go out. Dude, I, 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 I feel like with these uh particular employees 
I'm like fucking George Costanza with the Andrea Doria. Like, oh, you ate a banana? Yeah, like, you want to hear a real Did fucking they tale? they fucking shove a they stiletto, stiletto up your ass, ass and put it in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> My fucking uh, punching bag was sore for days after that. Bro, you like, got you got beat. <laughs> they were whacking you with the belt and they were missing. They were, like, hitting, like, your ribs and shit. Yeah. That was brutal with, like, the belt buckle the and everything. Belt. Dude, I got, I mean, it was this very belt. Yeah. Is this belt? This is a head, this is an alligator skin belt, yeah. and the and the buckle's big, right? It's, it's no, it's not the buckles. It's got the fucking the oh, ribbons, like the, right? Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Fucking, bro, I got I left with scars and an infection. <laughs> <laughs> scars, mental and physical, bro. So, uh, yeah. I mean, anyway, Bert, lawyer up. <laughs> Imagine we just made this a class action versus Lizzo and Bert. <laughs> One one last uh, one minute man thing here. Um, Edinburgh has a festival going on right now. Ed Fringe, it's called. And this woman did a one man play, one woman show, and one person showed up. Oh yes, I saw. And that. she posted a video of herself crying, and has since sold the fuck out because the internet felt bad mm. and everybody bought tickets. Where do you fall on this? What's your opinion of this? I gotta cry. <laughs> Come to KMC Radio. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, because listen. Well, first of all, I'll tell you what my first thought was. Being that fucking person. I don't give a shit about how awkward it felt for the girl on stage. You're a performer. You go out on stage. You, you always run the risk of people not coming to your show. That is just the thing we all go through. Yeah. You hope even on a bad night you get more than one. And when if, when one person shows up, that sucks. You know, the only position worse than that is being that person. Because it's almost like having somebody play the guitar for you. Yeah. But yeah. you can't leave. So you have to stay there for an hour and just be like. <laughs> that is you're so like much making worse. just eye contact with just you. <laughs> and, and like, so when you do like the funny moment. Or the big whatever you have to laugh, you have to cry, you have to. <gasps> oh my god! You know, like what all kind of that of show shit. was it? It was comedy. It's called Sunsets. I know that it's. Uh, I, I the, the poster looked very jovial. I don't know if it's comedy or what, but it was. I like, I, I remember reading. Like, this. I mean that that's got to be a, a one woman yeah a one woman play but happily. Ever. I'll also say this: one woman, one man shows. You better be fucking fire yeah otherwise it feels like the most like narcissistic thing in the world to me. <laughs> like I'll, I'll just do it on myself i'll just do the whole play by myself what was that picture of the bear up there what is that is that part of the show oh, oh these are so all of these comedians are now making videos for her and so as someone who has been on stage just even a little bit and worried about ticket sales and gone out in front of small crowds and had empty seats and all that on like an empathy level I, like oh i can't even i can't imagine the other side of me says i'd rather go out there to one person than like 12 yeah 100 percent. you know it's like then a 50 I can make on a the test thing. versus zero. yeah just right. give me the zero i'd rather i first of all i would just say we can just go home. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And they go, no, 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 I, I paid money. It's like, just, no, no, just like, go, we're going here. home. But I also, if that doesn't work, I'd, I'd, I don't know, switch my thing up a little bit. I would talk to you. I'd laugh to you. I'd take a break. I'd, you know, it would just become a me and you thing. When there's like enough people that it's like, I just have to do my act for just like 10 of you. That's <laughs> fucking the, the worst. Uh, and then there's the ultimate hater in me is like, and now she's selling out all of her fucking shows god damn it it's, it's you know it's like, it's, if I, should i have just cried at our show in fucking uh dallas or whatever when, the, when it wasn't sold out and make <laughs> and you guys fucking come <laughs> do i need less people to come for you guys to you know what i mean yeah. it's better to bomb completely like that and then you get to sell out Fuck yeah it's like uh, like know? the kid's birthday like no one came like yeah. the whole town comes like Ugh. well i don't want that either remember that, that, that <laughs> remember that like rash of those yeah yeah Ugh. The, uh, I will by the way, say, come to Columbus and Cincinnati and Pittsburgh <laughs> and Indianapolis and uh, Madison. Madison. You and, know what I want? I want somebody. I want somebody who's rich to buy out the whole place and just just come. <laughs> and then we have one one person to play for. 
but we make the money. <laughs> but we just but have we one person. That would be sick. Just a one man show just for that person. <laughs> I'd say that time Minahan did a live show in someone's living room. No. Fucking insane. <laughs> I think it was like part of his uh like he was raising money for a firefighter or something, and it was like golden ticket was like we'll come to your house and do a show and then, which is like the last thing in the world i would ever want and it's like kirk was just like sitting in some guy's living room for like for just like him like with a stage set up i think no i think it was like this just like in his fucking living room total insanity man. fucking insane i saw a video of his dance number the other day yeah did you see that Kirk's? Yeah. yeah. No. He did, he did like a put like a. <laughs> I think it was hip hop dance. I don't know some kind of dance at his live show in Plymouth, Mass. The other day. Yeah. Oh wow, we got to see that. Oh, also we got to do our let's do a quick uh, social media Barcelona round. Yes. Um, what what did you see over the weekend? From My the favorite tweet, and it didn't get nearly the attention it deserved. It's it's a ten out of ten tweet. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull it up right now. It is from one. Edward Barstool. Um, oh my God! This it is, is this is unbelievable. It's 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 amazing all around. It's like Mad Libs because it's like yeah, it has is funny. It's, it's, the, it's, the people involved is funny. The location is funny, bro. It's a picture of a, a Maroon Five poster, and Eddie tweeted, "Got strong armed into a Maroon Five concert in Vegas by my uncle. Unexpected, but time to get mentally prepared to belt out payphone. I guess I love Maroon Five as much as the next guy. Totally, but." Picturing Eddie's uncle, who I assume is exactly Eddie. Totally. Just with like a little bit older, <laughs> you know, like grayer just, beard. That's I about it. Just the two of them sitting there in Vegas being like, we're done with the slots. We're done with the fucking whatever. Hey, hey, Ed, you want to go check out? I don't know what the voice that was. That was Canadian. But the yeah, you got that how Chicago do you, accent. Uh, how do you do the Chicago accent? Uh, Maroon 5. Yeah, ah, yeah, there it is. Maroon 5. Hey, go see Adam Levine tonight. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's crazy I to mean, picture Eddie and his uncle saying, like, that is, Sugar, I- that's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> so crazy. Put it down on me. Like, like I, I would imagine Eddie and his uncle like to go to, like, the bear. They want to go have, like, beefs in a back alley where they, like, also, like, rip a cigar, bet on some illegal ponies, and, you know, and that's Describing it. Describing a great weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, that, that's that's what Eddie and his uncle do. Not go to Maroon 5 in Vegas. It's crazy. It's awesome. And, like, and do you, so do you think he got strong arms? So do you think his uncle was like, Eddie, I got two tickets. We're going. We're going to see Adam it, Levine. Or do you think it was like, like... Hey, uh, if I got tickets to Room Five, would you want to go? And then Eddie felt bad, or you think it was like we're going, motherfucker? I would think, Ed, knowing Eddie, uh, you know enough, I would think Ed was like, "Oh boy, I don't want to do this." <laughs> but, 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 but he's when, definitely turning Canadian every when, time. It's, but, it's yeah. gonna be—it's a hundred percent. I, I, you, you. This is such a weird thing for me. Like, I'm not close enough with any of my uncles. With, with like one uncle, I'd I'd be close enough that I'd be like. All right, I, I gotta go. Like, I, I, you know, you. But you're always going to dinner with your aunt, and going to Broadway <laughs> shows. Like, if I was in Vegas with my uncle and he wanted to go to Maroon Five, I'd be like, "Get the fuck out of here, bro!" Dude. I wouldn't say no to anybody. Like, I just that's what I can't do. So, like, I'd be like, "Yeah, let's do it." Like, <laughs> like the, that's if if it's uh, but I also don't like it. it Maroon seems Five, like- by the way, I bet puts on a great show. They oh, a lot fucking of fucking right. hits. Hell yeah. You know, it's not like you're dragging you to like some garbage band you never heard of. It's a little bit gay and it's a little bit like, yeah, it's not the coolest thing in the world, but who fucking cares? Yeah. They're, they're a little uh, little Nickelback-esque where it's like Adam Levine and you think it's for girls, blah, blah, blah. And then you see their hit list and it's like, oh, shit, all these things fucking slap. Yeah. It was. It was. I, as far I bet, as you know, one zero six seven light FM goes. You know, it is. It is. <laughs> I'm not gonna uh, walk out to my boxing match to it, but <laughs> actually. Wouldn't that be cool? I've always thought about that. What if you came out to that um, that that song, um, "Truly Madly Deeply"? Yeah. Like, wouldn't oh, that be yeah. cool to like throw a fucking curveball like that? Oh, I, I I've I've thought if I ever did rough and rowdy, like, yeah, come out something like that. Yeah. Like, and like a long one, like slow walk, yeah. so it's like all four minutes of the song. Dude, what's the song? Is it is it Stairway to Heaven? Is it that's like crazy long or American Pie? Free Bird. Both of those are. Free. Uh, yeah. I, I remember when in high school we Oh, had... remember when Tyson Fury did American Pie? <laughs> after after he won? And it was like the full fucking song? Yeah. 
Yeah. No, I don't remember. Yeah, that. he had all these. He had all his Irish gypsies fucking singing <laughs> it in the ring. The uh, it was the worst thing ever for Deontay Wilder. I was like, what's going on here? I'm just kidding. They're <laughs> dancing like on my grave. Half minutes. <laughs> when see no the one the one I when, when I was in high school, our English teacher loved music, and would let us start every class with a song, and the class got to vote who got to pick the song, and then we just yeah. listen to the song in the start class. Yeah. And we would always pick my buddy to the point that the rules had to be changed <laughs> because he would play a 14-minute song. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. He eats up to, half a class. Yeah, they'd be like, all right, we can't do this anymore. Yeah, you guys ruined a, it. You guys ruined it. Dude, the, 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 the fortitude it takes to just be on minute seven and be like, we're still going. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm not going to stop, teacher. We're doing this for 14 minutes. But, like, the third time, he was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, week two, he's like, all right, I, you guys ruined that. that. Which was just a pain in the ass for a teacher. Like, yeah. I did this fun little thing. And you, and you guys are killing 14 minutes of a 40 minute <laughs> class every day <laughs> brilliant i love it it's a great loophole it's a great loophole okay uh so eddie gets dragged to see maroon five we got we'll have to get a recap from him and then the other uh barstool weekend social media roundup is uh jersey jerry jerry i i, I feel like jerry's gonna be a staple in this segment i would imagine jerry this, this time <laughs> as as we talk right now is probably still hard as a rock <laughs> <laughs> did he? I didn't. I didn't see this in real time. Did he? Uh, did he post about it like in the moment? Or, like, he posted it, it a day later. He was like, I but, took a Vi- He was moving the night before. <laughs> He's like, I took a Viagra last night. I'm still just fucking. What do you mean he was moving the night before? Like moving apartments? Like yeah, moving, he moving... packing up and stuff like that. He Why said, would you take a Viagra when you're moving? He said he just found a Viagra that his uncle had given him and he was like, might as well take it. Which I get. Floor, I... floor drugs is like, yeah, you, it's like found. Dude, I remember it's taking. It's like finding 20, uh, 20 in your pocket. Like I just found a pill. I don't know. Bro, my fir- the first apartment I moved out of in New York. I've, I've, I've moved twice on Molly. Um <sighs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but, <laughs> I got to be horny to shit, and I moved twice on Molly. It is a banner day for you, dude. Banner day. I moved, dude. That's actually the trashiest thing I've ever heard. And I on Molly twice, twice. while moving. It, one, one time is like funny and trashy. Two times is insane. <laughs> I moved. Have you ever moved high on Molly? <laughs> Twice. <laughs> were you just? Were you actually like rolling and like? Uh, and the, just like it, oh. the, the Molly kind of hits the couch. me like a fucking like an upper. Like it's yeah, just like, yeah, just like, like I, I don't really see anything or I don't get like like kissy or whatever. It's just like, I'm like I just grind. Yeah. Um. But the first time I was moving to New York, I was living with a drug dealer and we were moving the couch. And we took the, the pillow, the cushions off the couch. And I just saw a pillow and was like, well, I, I, "Honestly, the only reason I took it was because I didn't, when I tilted the couch sideways, I didn't want it to fall on the ground." And I was like, "I'll just take this I'll to avoid the mess." <laughs> 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 um, so that was one. My first apartment I was in New York, like twenty-one, and then probably once I was moving in Boston when I was probably like twenty-six. Uh, we were moving in the morning, and we were both hung over, and we were like, you know, we, we can't do this. And he's like, I got some Molly. Oh, my And I was God. like, yeah, let's fucking do some Molly. <laughs> and we, I'll tell you what, we moved like a motherfucker. <laughs> um, Job got done. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this is uh, – my uncle gave me a Viagra months ago, and while I was packing last night, I found it. I took it around 8 p.m., and I've been rock solid ever since. But that's not even the worst part. My girlfriend fell asleep at 8.30, a catastrophe to say the least. It is – it's, it's a great tweet. It's an yeah, all-time be- tweet. I mean, I don't know. The thought of Jerry just hard dicked up for like <laughs> hours. Just walk around the park like I don't know what to do. <laughs> I mean, like, but like you just fucking you gotta you gotta empty the tank, right? I I have never taken Viagra. I I would love to if someone wants to write me a prescription. I'd love to take Viagra. But, because but the problem um, is, I always it's not really the cum. It's the blood. Yeah, right? so yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. So it's. it's <laughs> That's fucking funny. That is fucking funny, man. That is great. That is fucking. Hey, dude, how about that fat kid, Big T? The kid I sent you. Uh, the, oh, the yeah, Instagram yeah, yeah. I sent you. That, that, kid, that, that somebody's got to be like writing those skits for him, right? Some of I... them are. Some of them are like, oh, like a like a funny thirteen year old kid would do that. Some of them are like jokes about NBA players that he was like. Not even, <laughs> not even remotely around for that guy. Big T, uh, Tyler, like Workowitch or whatever. I put him on one minute, man. I uh, uh, half the half the audience was like, "Oh my god, this guy's so funny, great find." The other half of the audience was like, "I didn't laugh once." I was like, "I can't, 
if you didn't laugh at that, if you didn't laugh at a fat 13 year old kid where it says no P August and he's just going, <laughs> that was funny. that's yeah. day two, day two of no P August <laughs> is so fucking funny. I mean, every single video of his was just like one after another, after another, I was dying at this kid to the point that I was like, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody else is like, I, these skits are funny, but it, it's funnier if it comes from like a chubby, yeah, yeah you yeah. know, prepubescent kid. That's what uh, Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> His dad used to write his stand up because it was funnier coming from a little kid. Really? So, Interesting. Like, he Interesting. was a child. He's like. That is so fucking funny. <laughs> Day two of no P August. <laughs> and then and the one um, breaking into my house, the burglar breaking into my house, and it's just me kissing men. <laughs> you see that one? No. You'll love this one. It, it's, it's like one of those. <laughs> Like, I, I, I genuinely was like, oh my god! I think because he he only had uh, at the time he had like I think he had like seventy something thousand followers. He's got a hundred now. I was like, oh my god! I think I like stumbled upon. He wasn't a nobody, but I was like, this is gonna be like the next thing. And I saw some people being like, I didn't laugh once, and I was like, then unfollow me, man. Unfollow me. He's, my pronouns are pounds slash kilograms. <laughs> <laughs> too good. Too fucking good. Um, but Jersey, Jerry, uh, yeah, I would always think, like, let me just come, but that doesn't stop the blood from, you got to come blood. Yeah. You know? You, well, you, you almost got to, like, po- like bloodlet. You got to, like, <laughs> poke a hole and I, I, the I, blood The commercials out. say after four hours, Jerry went 24. That's crazy. Dude. Breaked up. That. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, voicemails, what do we got? Today's voicemails are brought to you by Pirate Water. I went down to North Carolina uh, for my vacation. The first thing I did was go to drinkpiratewater.com. I entered in my zip code right away. Pop, 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 pop. All the different locations popped up. I went to the Mini Mart, and right there uh, were all all three flavors. I was going to say all four, but one of them was already sold out. I grabbed three of them. I walk up to the register, $6.10 for three Pirate Waters. For three 16-ounce, 10% alcohol by volume drinks that taste like summer themselves. I was on the beach drinking a margarita pirate water. I was on a boat drinking sex on the beach. I was at a little happy hour out on a back deck of a pool of a of a, a summer house drinking the uh, the uh, what's the yellow one the uh, Bahama Mama. I mean, it is it, it is it has turned into something so much more than what I thought it was going to be. I thought for sure during the college year, college uh, during tailgates during. Uh, frat parties, all that. People are sipping this out on the lake while they're kayaking. I got a guy kayaking, drinking pirate water the other day. Dads are drinking it after work. Moms are partying with it. It's just a drink for everybody who likes to get loose and have fun. Uh, And you can get it right now by going to drinkpiratewater.com and having it delivered to you or finding a location near you that sells it at the local liquor store or wherever you can buy alcohol. So go to drinkpiratewater.com to find that location or order it on GoPuff and have it delivered. Follow and tag at Pirate Water on any of your posts for a chance to be reposted. Best voicemail wins a free uh, merch package of Pirate Water. So uh, best voicemail of the week will get some Pirate Water swag. Uh, but you got to make sure you tag Pirate Water and send in your voicemail. So drinkpiratewater.com, at Pirate Water on social. Get pegged. KFC. Fights, Nick, Jackie, Pavs, calling in with an odd question here. Sitting at the bar this weekend with my roommates. Roommate had brought a uh, co-worker in, which is always odd, you know, we don't really know him, but a co-worker had tipped a bartender, who was a cute girl, uh, a pretty handsome amount, and we got talking, you know, she was doing what bartenders are supposed to do, wearing low-cut tops, high, high shorts, trying to get tips from everybody, and we were talking, you know. Uh, supposed to do. And the uh, co-worker goes, well, if tits got tips, my sister would be a millionaire. And we all were kind of taken aback by the comment, and it led to many different conversations, one being about his sister's tits, of course, but two, if you were talking like on a pure ratio of like if big tits got big tips, who would be the best tipped waitress and waiter and why? Viva. Bro. My <laughs> Saying that about your sister is wild. Is is very very funny. I just be like, my sister's tits are 
huge boys. <laughs> they are just bombs. Like that's mm-hmm. that's that's a situation where you know, I, I don't even know how that works. Where it's just like if your sister's just like this fucking. If you have an OnlyFans sister or a super hot in the in public sister, it's just like you know it, you, you know it, but you just, like your brain just doesn't think about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Like there's just a disconnect, right? Because you can't. It's like you like tits that look like that. You like a body that looks like that, <laughs> but that belongs to your sister. What the fuck do you do? But <laughs> tits, me, tits, my sister be a millionaire. <laughs> Oh and man, that is yeah, all the time. It's a great, it's a great line. I, if someone said that in my presence, I'd be like, just so you know, we're best friends now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're <laughs> the fucking yeah, man, yeah. dude. Like, I, I, you're my buddy's coworker. I, we can get rid of. Him. I I'll picture like, that with like he's got a dip in, yeah. and he's got like a pirate water in his hand. <laughs> fucking boys, let me tell you, uh, the greatest, uh, the greatest waiter, waitress. It would be a, a slugfest between Alexander Daddario and Sky Bree. <laughs> that girl's tits. Are, and, and, and what's her name? Jasmine or whatever her name was? Where's the picture? Yeah, it's right there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, that's the answer. <laughs> yeah, that's <true>. Jamie. Jamie. <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> Jamie gets the Sorry, tits. Sorry, Jack. Yeah. <laughs> Edit it out. Jackie's just going to make the screen black. Jack, but get rid of the photo. <laughs> <laughs> she got she would make so many t- tips <laughs> it's hard to say uh all right next one i was gonna say glenny by the way <laughs> well, glenny Glen, half his tits yeah. the <laughs> glenny, glenny. <laughs> my it is a problem that my mind went to guys <laughs> like right away i was like glenny has got a good set frank <laughs> i put a pair in there have you seen there's a there's a reel of a black guy dancing who has tits <coughs> have you seen that i want to say maybe mm. che duran posted it let me look if there's one if there's one thing there's one place you're looking for weird horny material go to chase Che's account but it was like people were like why is this not banned from like instagram like if a girl did this it would for sure be banned he's just got tits <laughs> not on Chase. I, I, I must have just assumed silly of me to think uh, but whoever that guy is, if you know who I'm talking about, he he's the number one. KFC fights uh, the gang. Uh, just listening to KFC featuring Bone to Pick uh, with Mr. Robert Kelly and Paul Verzi. And, and Bobby was talking about the uh, the little mumble that you do when you're jaywalking. Get the fuck out of my way. Fucking ass. Uh, it just made me think um, this one time when I was living in Boston, uh, you know, busy Saturday or whatever it was red line is fucking packed to the gills my stops you know here so I, I go to get off the the train and, and you know the old ladies are doing the, the I don't want to lose my spot so I'm gonna stand right in the middle of the door move um, which prompted me to look an 85 year old woman directly in the eyes and tell her to get the fuck out of my way um, and blow past her like nothing ever happened so I guess the question is what's the most insane thing that you said in public to somebody Ooh. that you look back on and be like jesus christ if anyone was like hey is that a so-and-so you'd be like no eh, it wasn't me um but yeah you just first you of know, all sometimes the, rage hits people not getting out of the way of the door is nuts is that a thing in boston even, I, even, even the animals in new york no you get to the sides let people off like if you're on the, if you're on the train you bro move. i've ridden the t like twice in my life i was gonna say when he was like, like the red lines packed to the gills uh, I was like is that even does that even happen yeah I, I i i mean obviously more than two but it's it's not a regular thing i've done by I mean, el- elevators and subways you know you let people off whether you're inside or outside and if you don't do that you're a piece of shit and you deserve to get screamed on as far as what's the craziest thing i've said in public I, I I shut my fucking mouth. I, I don't, talk uh, so little if there's not a microphone. Yeah. <laughs> like the crazy thing I've said in public is crazy shit on this fucking show. Yeah, like, yeah, uh, yeah. You know, uh, the list is endless. Like out out in the wild, I, I, I say like ten words a day. Yeah, I don't. I don't really. I don't. I honestly don't have anything that comes to mind. Where I I I have the one thing that I said to my teacher that I always come like clearly scarred me very badly. When what someone asked how to spell his last name, and I said F A T, yeah, and like, it yeah, just yeah, came yeah. out. I, I, <laughs> I still to this day, I'm like so sorry about that. I, like, yeah. I wouldn't, ne- I'd never joked like that. It wasn't like I didn't even call him like fat behind his back. It was right, just like, right. just like <laughs> how you spell his name? I was like F A T, and the class got the <laughs> fresh, so freshman science class 
erupted into laughter, and I like okay. turned. He like me and him locked eyes, and like right. I was like, <laughs> "Oh my god, like, yeah. it's okay, it's okay." <laughs> like, he, he, good for Ant. Like he like, should have been like, "Fuck you." Yeah, I, I was like, I'm, I got right away. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And he's like, "I know what I look like," <laughs> um, oh, but it yeah. was he didn't say that. But the that that is that's definitely that. I guess that's the exact answer to this question because like it is. That's the one. It was horrific I, I, and awful, and I'm so sorry. I, it bothers me so badly that I said that. You should get in, t- in contact with that guy. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Heart attack. Then who cares? <laughs> uh, he, he was too fat. He, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know that. <laughs> uh, I, I, I've gotten into road rage incidents relatively recently where I was, like, yelling in public, and I, afterwards I was like, I don't remember specifically what I said, but just raising your voice to, like, a stranger at all is fucking insane. Yeah. Just like, what's what's going to happen here? <laughs> Worst case scenario, someone pulls out a gun and shoots you. <laughs> Best case scenario, you just look like a dickhead yelling in the street. And it's like, and that, right? and that's why I'll never yell at somebody or say something like that, because they... It just emboldens them, right? No matter what you right. say, it's it gonna doesn't escalate the situation. It's gonna it make doesn't. It worse. But even if they don't say anything back, they don't go home. They're like, I need to reevaluate how I do. No, this. they're like this there's fucking no lunatic way. the other night. Like, totally. There is confronting someone like is a loot. Like, there's no winning in it. Right. So, it is not something I do. All right, last one, real quick. Hey guys, first time, long time. Um, last night when I was at the gym, I go after hours, just get in there, buzz in, and then uh, work out, and. There was a few people there. It's a smaller gym. And this guy, he had his stuff on every single piece of equipment, it seemed like. Uh, backpack, shirt, hoodie, another pair of shoes, a pair of pants because he had shorts on underneath. Just stripped off and just was throwing stuff everywhere. Had his phone playing music out loud like a crazy person. And I wanted to do lat pull down. And this guy came running up to me and goes, Hey, man, uh, I'm still using that. And I was like... Um, all right, so I was pissed off and I walked up to the treadmill, what saw that his keys were inside the treadmill, so I chucked them behind the uh, front person desk for them to find in the morning and uh, walked out. Don't know if he ever found his keys or not, but I just wanted to know if that was uh, justified. Thanks. Can you imagine if that guy looked down and his dick was out of my glasses? <laughs> I was hoping to catch something in the reflection. <laughs> if he looked down, he was just naked. I would have fucking lost it. Uh, that I gotta say is not. It's it's infuriating and crazy when someone does that. He, and they, so it, the guy's bag was on the machine. He took the bag and threw it. He said his he was taking like all the machines. Yeah, and he took his keys and just just threw, the keys. Yeah, and just threw them. That is. But he threw it behind the front desk, which is like someone's gonna see it, and then it's gonna go to the lost and found. Yeah, but they're your keys, man. <laughs> can't get into your home. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but here's, I mean, like, I I say, like, if you're going to strike, like, strike to kill. You know what I mean? Like, if you're going to do some shit. That's a, I, 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 what, I what, cannot what about if What about that. if he hung a bag and you took the bag and you threw it and his keys were in the bag? Yeah, that's. Because, like, then you don't know. I mean, I wouldn't or, do any of this. The, I, the, you run through this issue when you're at the gym. Someone, they, everyone's got, someone like. Being a dick fucking a million supersets they do now and yeah. it is what it is but you know I've, I've also been the that is so crazy guy there who like had three I, I don't think I've ever had more than two things I do you have two things you do yeah, right? yeah like yeah, that's yeah. fine right. um, I don't think I've ever had like three separate things but the uh, you just fucking google alternate exercise like yeah, you get, or, there's or a just, million exercises to hit your fucking thing. hamstrings. Just go or just you know, be like oh, I'll go do my tries now and come back. It to sucks. Hamstrings. Don't get me wrong. Like, it's a pain yeah, in the ass. Annoying. But like the the alternate is. I remember when I was in Amsterdam and I was with my parents and my mom, and my brother, and we were getting the tour. We had like a small tour, and the there was one guy who was losing his fucking mind, and so someone was a little late. Uh-huh. And he's like, he's like, we paid a lot of money for this tour. Ugh. And he's still yelling at the woman in the elevator at the uh, uh, Reichstag Museum or something like that, whatever. And Reichs Museum. And the woman just very calmly goes, "We do offer private tours, sir." And like, you can fucking build a gym. Yeah, yeah it's not. Yeah. When you have to be in public, you home. have to deal with other yeah, people. Totally. That sucks. Yep, 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 and yep, it's yep, not yep. great. Yep. But like, you can work out at home. You can put a gym in your house, and you don't have to deal with that ever again. Yeah, that's it. It it, it, it sucks. It's fucking re- it, in that moment that annoys me like the toilet seat. Like that's what bothers me more but, than anything. But like I just have, you have to take a breath and go. I also think this it's, is what's like being in public. Sometimes people suck. I also think it's equally as crazy to be like, I have to work out my hamstrings right now. <laughs> yeah. Like it'll probably be done in a matter of minutes. Right. I don't know. Go to the bathroom. Go get a water. Go do a different exercise. You know. 
have to use it. You're, you're in the right, but it's like, I don't know. And, and the guy being a dick makes it worse and all that stuff. Like so Today, someone was like, how many sets do you have left? And I had five left. And I was like, I got five. And he kind of gave like a look. And I did three. And I was like, hey, man, I'm all set. Yeah, but so if the guy was like, I'm using this. You know, you can't touch till I'm done. You're kind of asking for a little something. Get rid of the keys. Jeez. Stop, dude. I don't, like, like, I don't like, think like, you you're don't, in the right. You don't know, like, you know, that guy has to get home. He might have a kid at home. He right. might have, <laughs> like, you know, uh, there might be something. Yeah, I got to get home to, like, give my mom medicine. <laughs> you could really fuck somebody up by throwing you away their keys. killed somebody because the guy was an asshole at the gym? Oh, that'd be so good. They, like, find Aaron you. Hernandez they, would they, do they, that. They got the camera of you throwing it. <laughs> get, get, get arrested for murder. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> All right. Uh, we got an interview or no? No. All right. That's it. Uh, we'll see you guys. No interview today. So, eh, well, whatever. I won't say it. All right. That's it. I'll uh, we'll see you guys next episode. All right. Big thanks for watching. If you made it through this whole episode, that means you should be subscribed. There's so many of you out there who watch and don't subscribe. So make sure you are a KFC Radio subscriber. Make sure you get all the content when it drops. Click that button now. I have nine fingers. I'm still subscribed. It's that easy.